大家晚上好啊！好歡迎大家收睇咧，由 Joy Dot Asia 主持嘅居友直播，我係 Vanessa， 我係 Evan。Hello， 大家好，大家食咗飯未咧？<笑>系，咁其實我今日呢，其實就想同大家即係誒過去嗰幾個禮拜啦。咁其實大家都可能都有聽到啲新聞、就是，就、哦、係其實英國位身邊嘅朋友都係話關於講英國啊。咁其實英國呢，其實就係佢放寬咗，其實佢嗰、那個即係 BNO 啦。咁其實大家嗰、那個即係申請嗰、那個嗰、那個即係即係 policy 嗰啲。咁其實最快明年其實一月就已經開始啦。咁我相信其實可能其實而家好多身邊嘅朋友呢，都有分享過啊。其實誒、呃、即係會唔會考慮英國啊？或者可能其實身邊。甚至可能有好多朋友咧，其實都已經同你講啊，其實我嚟緊下個月我要飛去英國啦。咁<笑>其實因為我自己身邊其實真係有發生呢個嘅事件、就是，就係誒，即係佢好快就已經決定咗要去英國啦。咁其實就、呃、即係下個月都會，即係都會都會離開香港啦。咁其實我相信可能大家都會心裏面都都,、呃、都會有呢個咁嘅考慮啦。咁其實其實個考慮嘅話，其實喺喺即係喺第二度生活咧，其實大家都都會諗起其實、呃、即係究竟即係住屋啊、工作啊，即係可能係。即係小朋友嘅教育啊，其實好多即係好多方面咯。咁其實我哋其實都即係有見及此啦。咁其實我哋即係之前大家都有收睇我哋嘅直播嘅話咧、嗯，其實都即係、呃、即係我哋都希望可以即係帶俾唔同資訊俾大家。咁除咗資訊之外呢，其實呢，就誒，即係好多唔同嘅即係地區裏面有唔同嘅城市啦。咁其實大家都可能會考慮到啊，會唔會去呢度住，去去去嗰度住啦。咁所以其實誒，即係大家可能即係聽提開英國，咁其實都會諗下啊，去倫敦啦。其實呢個都會係第一個，即係第一個會考慮囉。咁其實誒，其實倫敦呢，其實我知道其實除咗倫敦之外，有好多唔同嘅即係英國好多城市啦。咁其實即係好似誒，即係阿 Vanessa， 咁其實你有冇去過即係去過其他英國嘅城市，例如話可能聽過你？其他城市啊，可能係即係誒曼徹斯特啊，或者可能係誒利物浦啊，或者其他嘅城市聽過咧。我就自己就未去過嘅，咁但係即係旅遊嘅資訊就好多啦。咁、嗯、但係其實即係今，所以今日咧，其實我哋就即係會同大家帶嚟誒關於英國 Liverpool 利物浦嘅一啲 information 啦。咁但係可能咧，好多時聽起利物浦咧，其實對嗰邊房產唔係好多認識，因為主要如果香港人咧，通常自住或者投資咧，都係揀英國倫敦啦。無論係即係松灣啊、Two 啊咁樣啦，咁因為嗰邊即係可能學校啊，或者其實香港亦都係有，好似我哋平台啦，都有好多即係倫敦嘅房產啦。咁但係利物浦就真係少啲，可能我自己對利物浦嘅印象就係、是。足球同埋就係 Beatles 咁樣咯，係啦係啦係啦。咁啊，其實咧，我哋其實點解今日想同大家講下利物浦咧？其實就係除咗倫敦，其實可能大家即係都有留意翻英國嘅房產，其實都知道倫敦咧，其實都都都都幾即係都幾。逼啦，係啦，咁其實咧開始都即係都好多人會諗住去亦去去倫敦，咁其實令到當地其實都會好多好多人去即係個需求好大。嗯。咁其實如果需求大嘅話，其實嗰個房價啦，咁或者可能其實都係會比較即係相對比較都會高啲啊。咁佢可能大家都會可能諗啊，其實除咗倫敦之外，我有冇其他選擇咧？倫敦唔係唔好，咁但係可能其實大家可能即係如果喺生活啊，或者可能係其他嘅方面咧，其實都可能會諗下其他即係其他城市。其他城市都會係。
係個水平比較低少少啦。咁、嗯、所以可能即係地方咁大，其實可能即係今日都想介紹更加多嘅地方啦，或者選擇俾大家去參考咯。係啊係啊，咁、啊、所以其實因為其實利物浦呢，我哋都做咗少少功課啦。當然咁我哋做呢個直播之前，咁其實發覺其實利物浦除咗大家啱啱 l i n i s a 提到嘅，即係即係利物浦足球啦，咁我 Beatles 啦，咁其實佢呢係當地嗰、那個即係、就是、個經濟啦、發展啦，咁同埋其實個生活水平其實都係啊，教育其實呢，其實都係唔錯嘅。咁所以其實呢，我哋都想同今日同大家分享即係介紹下利物浦呢個嘅即係呢一個嘅城市啦。咁另外當然啦，我都都有啲即係一個比較特別啲嘅項目想同大家去即係介紹翻。咁呢一個其實咧就係、是、英國喺度好大嘅，即係活活化嘅，即係計劃係啦嘅歷史建築嘅。咁其實呢個歷史建築有幾特別，有幾 unique 咧？咁其實咧就希望大家咧可以繼續咧收睇我哋呢個咁嘅直播啦。咁首先其實同我講下，即係大家都想同大家提翻咧，就係、是、我哋呢、這個即係呢個直播其實希望俾特飛一資訊俾大家啦。咁其實都誒俾大家做個參考啊。咁其實如果大家有啲誒即係唔同嘅，即係當然啦，大家嘅即係要求啊，誒、呃、嗰、那個啊，或者即係可能地區啊需求都唔同，咁所以希望今日直播就帶多啲資訊俾大家啦。咁或者亦都係大家有更加可能詳盡嘅資料想知道嘅話，都歡迎問翻專家啦，或者可以即係 private message 我哋去。誒、呃、幫大家解答問題嘅係啦，咁或者可能其實我哋今日即係而家一個直播室啦，其實大家亦都可以留言啦。咁其實咧，咁我嚟緊即係我哋都會請啲嘉賓上嚟去同我哋分享佢哋嘅資訊。咁其實嗱，我哋都會將你嘅問題咧問翻我哋嘅我哋嚟緊我哋嘅嘅嘉賓 speaker 啦。咁啊，我哋咧即係事不宜遲啊，我講咗咁耐，係啦。咁我哋首先其實都想同大家即係係都講下利物浦。咁其實利物浦除咗足球，其實究竟佢樣係咩？係個城市係點咧？咁其實唔緊要。咁其實咧，我哋得個講字咧，其實大家係。visualize 唔到嘅，咁所以其實我哋而家咧就諗住即係俾個俾個俾個片段大家睇下，咁而家呢幅圖係啲乜嘢啦？係啦 ，OK， 係啦，嗯，係啦。Welcome to Liverpool, one of the UK's most vibrant cities, famous for its football teams, its music, the Beatles, and its rich cultural history. Liverpool has the UK's second highest number of art galleries, museums, heritage buildings, and parks. Outside of London, the historic city centre has been awarded World Heritage Site status by UNESCO due to its extensive network of Victorian-era docks and waterways. Liverpool's waterfront offers a lively mix of cafes, restaurants, and tourist attractions, and is one of the most visited cities in the UK. The city contains four universities. And is home to 56,000 full-time students. Liverpool is home to the oldest Chinese community in Europe, and has many Chinese businesses, such as Chinese restaurants and supermarkets, and facilities for the Chinese community. Chinese people first came to Liverpool in 1834, when the first vessel direct from China arrived in Liverpool's docks to trade such goods as silk and cotton wool. Chinese people are now the city's largest ethnic group. <音>是啦，咁其實大家啱啱睇完呢、這個這個片段咧，其實就係介紹即係呢幅呢個城市利物浦啦。咁、嗯、其實大家即係其實睇可能即係聽一睇個名字比較多，其實都係文字上。咁所以其實我哋就覺得不如咧，我哋透即係透過呢個直播咧，就同大家分享一下即係一啲即係比較即係視頻嘅形式，即係視像，大家可以知道多了解多少少啦。咁啊當然啦，咁其實究竟即係喺利物浦生活啊，或者利物浦多啲嘅資訊，咁當然梗係問個本地人會好啲啦。咁所以其實我今日咧，我哋呢、這個即係呢個直播咧，其實就請咗英國喺利。好，即係英國有嘉賓啦，咁其實咧佢就會同我哋即係分享多啲，究竟其實喺利物浦生活啦，咁其實究竟係咪即係對香港人究竟佢即係香港人適唔適合住啦？咁啊，同埋其實佢嗰個 lifestyle 係點啦？即係當然咧，大家都明白喺香港，即係香港同即係外國生活都係有好多唔同，有啲點唔同法啦。咁啊，同埋究竟其實大家都好關心啦。其實嗰個 property trend， 其實嗰個樓市，其實當地即係當地究竟係除咗住衣食住行咧依樣嘢啦，咁啊究竟住係點啦？咁同埋究竟誒、哎、究竟大家如果係即係去即係投資？投投資當地嗰個房產股係點啦？咁其實呢，即係呢一個同倫敦同埋同同埋倫敦比較究竟係點？因為頭先我哋都話，其實好多人諗起英國，通常都係倫敦先，係啦係啦。咁<笑>所以其實我都想都都想同即係同大家分享返其實呢幾樣嘅資訊囉。咁、嗯、所以我哋其實就即係我哋而家就事不宜遲啦，我哋呢就介紹我哋今日第一位嘉賓出嚟，係啦 Andy， 係啦。Andy, 
Hello, Andy. Hi, uh, Andy. Hi. Good, good morning. evening, Evan <laughs> Vanessa. And good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. 係啦，咁其實 Andy 咧，其實咧就係誒，即係佢係誒，即係英國利物浦嗰邊啦。咁其實即係就係 Logic ST 誒、呃、，Logic ST 嘅嗰邊嘅代表啦。咁其實咧，佢哋多即係佢哋都喺當地都有好即係好豐富嘅經驗。其實係關於房產上面。咁當然啦，喺利物浦咁當然咁啊，梗係揾個當地人同我哋分享就好過我哋喺度齋咁拍啊片嗰啲啦。係啦，咁所以其實咧，即係都想即係想我一我哋嚟緊都會問翻 Andy， 其實究竟頭先誒即係咁利物浦當地係點啊？係啦係啦，咁適唔適合住啊？買樓點啊？投資點啊？嗰、那個 trend 係點啊？咁所以其實我哋嚟緊都會問 Andy 嘅，係啦，係。So um Andy, so would you like to introduce yourself to our Hong Kong audience first? Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Andy Ferguson,、uh, one of the co-owners here at Logic. Logic Estates is the、uh, main bro broker, is it? I believe you call them for、uh, hardcore developments. Who are the main the developer of、uh, Stanley Dock, which is what we're introducing to you today. 係，咁 Andy 其實咧，佢就係即係當地即係、就是、當地地產即係、就是、經紀代表嘅 Corona 啦。咁啊，其實佢今日就同我哋再去講多啲。其實究竟利物浦其實佢當地係點，同埋其實誒、呃、究竟佢今日想同我哋介紹嗰個地區，其實唔單止項目㗎。其實因為其實即係講開我哋嗰個發展，其實個 Stanley Dock 係啦 ，Stanley Dock 成個嗰個 area 係點咯。咁但當然梗係首先問下 Andy 一啲問題先啦。咁可以 ，so so the first question would like to ask Andy is like is Liverpool a good place for Hong Kong people to migrate? Great too because we know that、uh, that recently, the like the current trend in Hong Kong, like many people like considering like migrate to UK and the, the first the first city they think of they think of is、uh, London, but、uh, but you know that London is、uh, quite expensive right now. So、yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think about Liverpool? Can you can you share、uh, share more like、um, how's how's living in Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, yeah. I think Liverpool is a great place for、uh, Hong Kong people to consider emigrating to. Um, reiterating on what the video said before, Liverpool's got the oldest Chinese community in Europe,、uh, and it actually represents the largest ethnic minority in Liverpool.、Uh, we've already got many、um, Chinese and Hong Kong people living and、uh, thriving and doing very well in in Liverpool,、um, and with the UK's open liberal society and respected law system. It's a huge, huge draw for emigration, not just from Hong Kong, but from from all over the world. But、uh, we do see a lot of the Chinese community growing and thriving in Liverpool every week. Hi. 头先其实睇片段嘅时候咧，咁都有睇到介绍，就系话即系诶喺利物浦嗰个华人社区咧，真系历史悠久啦，同埋即系可能。華人都係佔成個即係總嘅即係最大嘅部分。係啊，分分鐘可能佢哋佢哋個唐人街或者可能佢個華人個歷史分分鐘仲仲即係源遠流長過流過倫敦咯。其實係係啊，咁其實即係其實大家可能即係大家都會去到即係諗就係、是、啊，其實我去到一個地方會唔會好陌生啊？會唔會冇華人社區啊？其實唔會嘅。其實其實講真，但係可能大家即係去過旅行都知道，其實其實好多地方都有 China Town 呢樣嘢。咁、嗯、所以其實大家亦都唔需要太擔心。其實 Liverpool 都係有好多華人。喺度住咧，咁頭先 Andy 都同我哋講，其實即係其實佢華人個社區咧，其實即係可能因為佢近排呢幾年啦，其實都都都發展得非常之非常之迅速咯。嗯，係啊，係啊。咁所啊，所所我所啊 ，we we we talk about 啊、uh, ，we already talk about Liverpool is a good place. So the、um, so I I think I think you 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 definitely will say that like Liverpool offer a good、uh, lifestyle. So So, so how about how about if a Hong Kong people like migrate to Liverpool, so they will bring their families, they will then bring their kids. So the is this a good、yeah. place for like education or for retirement? Yeah, yeah. Hello again.、Uh, yeah, I think Liverpool、um, is fantastic cultural city、uh, that I think Hong Kong people would benefit from if they were to emigrate here or even just invest here. Uh, or or visit, as I said before, many of them already doing so day to day.、Uh, we have many cultural offerings,、uh, not just from the football, but、um, we've been designated as a music city by UNESCO, and we're also a world heritage、um, have world heritage status.、Uh, a huge draw for the Chinese community and Hong Kong people is our、uh, major education system that we have in Liverpool. Uh, we have four major universities, 
which totals around 60,000 students currently and growing all the time, up to 10,000 international students, many of them from Hong Kong and China. Uh, Liverpool was actually voted the number one UK destination for Chinese students by the British Council, which is great. It means many Chinese students are comfortable here, uh, confident and feel safe. Uh, always, uh, it was actually recently confirmed as the safest of 32 UK cities by a major insurance company, uh, which basically 98% of residents said they feel safe and secure to live in Liverpool. Okay. Cost of living is nearly 40% cheaper than London, which is always a big draw. Uh, Liverpool's a vibrant, innovative city uh, with fantastic architecture. A lot of people don't realise uh, how much architecture um, Liverpool has outside of London. In fact, there's more listed buildings um, in Liverpool than any other city outside of London. Uh, famous for its major tourist destinations such as the Three Graces, one being the, the famous library buildings, uh, the Albert Dock, which uh, Stanley Dock, very similar to, uh, a major destination. Um, the Liverpool One Shopping Centre, because uh, I know how the Chinese like to go to the nice shops. Um, we got, not forgetting the two major premiership football teams, uh, Liverpool and Everton, both with a major global following. Uh, and of course, home to the Beatles, um, whether you like them or not. <laughs> uh, there's endless choices uh, for leisure opportunities in the city. A multitude of restaurants, bars, restaurants, many catering again to the Chinese communities with uh, Chinese restaurants and delis and supermarkets, uh, very vibrant around the university areas. Uh, arts and culture, well catered for. Several museums and art galleries, such as the Tate, uh, Walker Art Gallery. We have the World Museum. Uh, Maritime Museum, which celebrates the rich heritage, maritime heritage that Liverpool has and links with China with the trades. Um, also, we have the British Music Experience, again, playing on the fact that uh, Liverpool is a major music destination, plus numerous parks and open spaces and two cathedrals. Uh, as a result of that, we have uh, over 7 million people visit Liverpool a year. I think it's the, the largest um, visited place outside of London in the UK. Hi, thank you, thank you, Andy. And I, I do, 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 I 除了倫敦聽聽,在大家聽很多古熟悉的大學生,其實你不好都有很多著名的大學,有四間大學,其實每年都有很多的學生其實都會去到利物浦讀書,其實利物浦也都成為就是很多外國留學生很受歡迎的
面咧，其實都會好多，即係都係有好多嘅誒誒，即係即係嗰個 highlight 所以俾大家去去關注咯。即係唔單止淨係誒，即係嗰個誒頭先講嘅幾個嘅旅遊景點啦。其實可能生活上面其實即係無論係教育，其實大家即係當當然啦，因為你去旅遊同你住係兩回事嚟嘅。咁、嗯、所以其實其實我哋都希望除咗旅遊依、這個旅遊景點，我就唔多提啦。咁其實我哋就同大家講下，即係大家會平平常平日生活其實會關注到個問題，就頭先話即係嗰個生活指數啦。其实佢哋嗰个教育啦，系啦，嗰啲、啊、安全啊，治安系啊，系啊，系啊。咁、啊、所以其实呢个都想即系到同大家去讲翻咯。咁其实大家即系嚟紧可能就关心就系生活指数之后，究竟嗰个 property trend 系咩咧？咁、嗯、我我哋就问下问下 Andy 啦。So Andy, so what are the current property market trends in UK? So it as as especially especially in UK and Liverpool, because the people like normally they are considering when when they considering migration to UK. So the one of what one of the priority would be the property. So, of course, they they find a place to live, right? Yeah. So, yeah. what what's what's the trend there? So, um, the major trend in in the UK and Liverpool at the moment is the property market is very very buoyant, um, and there's a couple of contributing factors to this. Uh, we've got continued uh, very low interest rates, which is encouraging many people to buy into property, and there is a a, a major shortage of um, good quality housing. In the UK,、uh, with a, a never increasing demand from not just first time buyers,、uh, but home movers as well, looking for more space.、Uh, and more so recently,、uh, in investors, homegrown investors from the UK and international investors as well, looking to obtain、um, the higher than normal average yields that Liverpool is offering in comparison to other UK cities. So, very positive right now. Yeah. Okay, so、um, that's a that's a good news for us because、uh, very good. Because of, yeah, because of course people may be less familiar with、um, like the local local properties, so they 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 have no idea. So so how how's the property price? Is it going go, going up or going down? And would, would they would they like、uh, lose their money or something? But、uh, but 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 it looks that everything goes very Scoring well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very 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 good for Liverpool at the moment. Yeah, obviously property prices a little bit.、Uh, Are a lot cheaper than、uh, down south and in、um, particularly London, but we have seen a big migration of people moving out of the major big cities to the smaller cities because there's a lot better value for money. Hi. 呀，一個地一個地。呀，其實咧，啱啱其實 Andy 同我哋講咗咧，其實就係即係而家都有個趨勢，其實就係好多人其實都會諗係就去去遊一個，即係即係去去差唔多。個城可能佢其實佢嗰個 property price 咧，其實亦都係會比較即係平均比大城市係即係比倫敦係係會低啲咯。因為即係可能 lock down 啦，咁其實好多即係公司啊，或者即係其實經濟等等嘅問題，大家都會係希望即係揾一個即係生活成本比較低啲嘅地方去即係移居啦。即係無論可能係 local 自己。嗯係啊，所以都好多機會。係啊，咁但係其實又即係雖則話而家 lock down 啦，咁啊，但係其實咧頭先 Andy 同我哋講，其實其實佢嗰、那個即係嗰個誒、呃，即係個 sales volume 啊，即係其實佢嗰、那個誒、呃，即係賣樓其實可能因為大家都知，即係英國同香港，即係而家近排大家都會考慮去英國啦。咁啊，其實咧平均地咧，其實即係整體嗰、那個誒、呃，即係賣樓嗰個情況咧，其實都好有上升。咁我相信其實好有一部分都係因為我哋香港，即係香港人會移居過去啦，<笑>所以就令到大。起咗成個嘅個嗰個樓樓市咯，咁其實大家其實就即係誒、呃、又唔需要話太擔心咯。其實大家可能都會諗，而家可能 U K 即係誒又有 Covid nineteen 又 lock down， 咁但係其實其實即係 in general， 因為始終呢件事都會過啊。咁所以其實大家誒、呃、即係佢嗰個誒、呃、即係整體嚟講，即係除可能即係過咗嗰、那個過咗個疫情之後，其實嗰個樓市基本上都係會會係去誒、呃、即係都會上升翻咯，係入。So um we 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 talk we just talk about the property trend in UK and、yeah. um Liverpool. So so can can you can you have any suggestions like、uh, is, is Liverpool a good place to invest and why why is good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um Liverpool is a great place to invest. Um basically Liverpool has been set up by the government as part of the the Northern Powerhouse. Uh, and we're one of the major cities that the government has put into the Northern Powerhouse, along with Manchester, Leeds, and Newcastle, so cities in the north of、uh, England. And basically, what they're doing it's for major econ economic growth in the north of the UK. I'm trying to get the draw away from London in the south. 
Okay. Um, uh, this will be supported by major infrastructural development, uh, given and also given additional powers to local governments. Uh, there's up to 10 to 15 billion investment uh, over the next 10 years. Uh, we've got a population in, in Liverpool around 1.5 million, but we've got 6 million to draw on within an hour's drive. Um, there's large economic growth expected in the city over the next 20 years. Uh, growth of the city in the next step, so you've got Albert Dock and Liverpool One, major uh, shopping centre. And now with Stanley Dock, which is moving on to the North Docks area that we've seen in the video, uh, which is all contributing to the economic growth, certainly for Liverpool and the North West. Uh, we've got key developments in the city all the time. Uh, lots of planning in early stages. Um, planning, wait for approval, approaching 14 billion, uh, which will include 25,000 new homes, which is really needed in the UK and certainly for the North West, uh, and will create over 30,000 new jobs, which all helps towards the rental market. Uh, that's why Liverpool's become hugely popular for property investors, not just within the UK, but internationally as well, with lots of regeneration and the growing jobs market providing huge rental demand. Uh, Liverpool boasts some of the highest performing rental yields in the UK. Um, it's in the top four UK cities for long term capital appreciation, 3.3% uh, on average per annum. Um, the past few years, Liverpool's dominated um, the top 10 rental yield markets uh, and parts of the city have been the highest yields in the country, up to 10% in 2019 on some of the properties. So very, very great, good figures uh, in Liverpool in comparison to some of the parts of the UK. Uh, certainly like in, in London, in some of the suburbs around London, uh, yields are only up to maybe 1.95%. So very low in comparison to the, the rental returns in Liverpool. Home Track, a well-respected uh, property company that monitors all the figures, confirmed that UK rents are up by 2.4% uh, this year. Um, 2.3 times the investment potential is in the northwest compared to the south and London. Uh, basically, it's because tenants' priorities have changed. Uh, they're looking for more space when renting, so they're willing to pay a little bit more money, um, which benefits Stanley Dock greatly with the big size they have. Uh, our sales and right move has seen a 40% increase in tenants wanting more space, so they're looking to move on. Uh, tobacco, tobacco Warehouse certainly satisfies that demand with apartments ranging from 1,000 to 2,500 square feet, so really good sizes for the family. Hi, thank you, Andy. 我要跟大家都可以講回剛才Andy講的是什麼重點 其實究竟他的回報率是大家都是回報率回報率和return so 即可能大家可能就咁去睇樓盤樓盤其實嗰啲咁嘅其實呢啲比較即係比較細嘅位咧，其實佢真係要問當地人先知咯。係啊，係啊。So down, so uh, we talk, we talk, we talk about uh, just as we talk about the investment. So, so how about when people normally people will take London to compare with Liverpool? So, so what, what do you think? Uh, Liverpool as opposed to London. Well, uh, if people are investing, they're looking for the best returns they can possibly get in comparison to the purchase price. So uh, if you take London, for instance, their rents have fell 
like 0.6% over the year uh, because available stock, because people are moving out to the suburbs rather than sitting in the city because the city, very expensive uh, living costs. Uh, so the, the stock has increased by 41%. So supply and demand having a major problem for uh, the, the south. Um, so London's average rent has fell uh, by 3%. 3% in quarter two, so that uh, their room and their rental market has fallen into negative equity twice in the last three years. That's not a positive um, investment model if people are looking to uh, buy into property. In comparison, the Northwest and particularly Liverpool, as we said about the figures before, um, in some areas up to 10% returns. Uh, Northwest is thriving, and that is uh, that was put out by the Guardian newspaper. Uh, we've seen a substantial shift. Uh, from investors uh, moving their money away from the south, uh, purchasing properties in Liverpool and surrounding areas of the northwest, all because of the higher basic returns and the potential for higher capital growth on the property. Hi. 係咯，咁可能頭先大家都有提過，就係話，即係因為可能倫敦啦，對比起其他城市，生活成本啊都比較高啦，咁所以可能佢哋本身 local 自己都希望去揾其他嘅城市，可能低生活成本啲嘅，咁就去誒移居啦。咁所以其實可能咧，誒近。依一年啦，咁可能咧喺誒倫敦嗰個租金咧都下跌咗啦，同埋即係可以供應嘅誒房屋咧項目啦，或者都係增加咗四十幾個 percent 啊。係啊，咁其實大家亦都可以即係、就是、聽 Andy 咁講啦，就係、是、其實即係大家都知道倫敦係貴啦，咁、嗯、啊其實可能佢哋大家即係霎時間咁，可能都大家都係即係即係睇餸食飯啦，咁可能大家都會考慮多少少 option， 就係會唔會有啲即係又係又係會平少少，但係佢個生活其實同倫敦又差唔多，其實佢帶俾大家嗰、那個無論係生活啊、教育啊，其實大家都同倫敦差唔多嘅，咁其實而家都亦都 Andy 同我都分享咗咧，就有有啲 trend 咧，其實就係由倫敦。其實就會轉移佢哋嗰個 interest 咧，就去到去到 north north west 啊，或者係 north of the UK。咁其實亦都係話，其實佢哋都係會去唔同嘅地方去去考慮佢哋其他嗰個城市咯。咁、嗯、所以其實即係我哋都即係睇，其實今日都同大家都話，其實我嚟緊都會同大家去介紹一個好獨特啦，一個好適力場啦，好 unique 嘅 project 啦。咁其實佢就叫 Topaz House， 即係誒 Topaz Warehouse。佢其實究竟究竟究竟適力場幾 unique 咧？其實我哋咧嚟緊 Andy 同話同我哋嚟緊另外一位嘅嘅嘉。都會同我哋去詳細去講咯，咁啊，但係其實想講下就係、是，其實或者大家可以諗，哦，其實點解點解你會介紹呢個土巴高誒土巴高 warehouse 究竟係咪即係究竟究竟有啲乜嘢㗎？誒、呃，即係點解啲人會去買咧？咁其實我哋即係我哋即係都問下 Andy 啦。其實 OK， Andy， so the the last the last question is this like。Okay, uh, we we just talk about um in the, in do during the live this live we will introduce a very unique and a signature projects to in Liverpool yep. uh, Hong Kong audience. This is called Tobago Warehouse, and yep. uh, we we would like to like would you would you like to share us a、uh, why people would attracted like, attracted to to, to the... buyers like to the to see signature signature building and signature projects. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah.、Uh, tobacco warehouse,、uh, fantastic development, right on the the banks of the river.、Um, in Liverpool itself, everybody in Liverpool knows the building. It's one of the the largest buildings on the horizon,、uh, being the biggest brick building in the world.、Um, uh, there's been a noticeable migration over the last couple of years from the suburbs. To the cities and and the surrounding areas of the city, for all age groups as well,、uh, and particularly from downsizers moving from the larger family home, looking to go to apartment living because they don't have the big outside spaces to look after,、uh, but they need those good internal sizes. Typical buyers in Tobacco Dock to date, which has been fantastic, has been the majority of buyers have been、um, owner occupiers, so not for investment. So this is families. Retired people moving into the building because of the community that it's going to great、um, create, which has been fantastic for that development. Because if we've got a majority of people actually living there and it's not an investment, it creates a lot better community for everybody else. Okay,、um, you, the the reason that it's been so popular is again the sizes. Your average apartment being built in all major cities of the UK at the moment are probably five hundred. To 650 square feet, so it's all built for the investment market and all aimed to the rental market. 
tobacco warehouse, completely different opportunity because they they range from a thousand to two and a half thousand square feet. So good internal space for all the family. So benefits for the family. So <clears throat> as I said before, major proportion of all the buyers are um, owner occupiers. So great community being created in uh, Tobacco Dock. And it's also because of this, it creates uh, a prime investment opportunity, certainly for renters, because the majority of them are going to be lived in and not for uh, rental. Okay, thank you, Andy. Well, I'm on his adult woman, German Andy, that is all day. Let his a high god, that's the book. A high she wants to do to Daga boy, come away, take guys, you have got a sick, all the sick again. Joke, he said, Let his all day. That boy, I'm teaching the sick boy, or the whole of the day, Joe, your whole daughter had gone, he said, Your son, no, ah, son, no, ah, me, yeah, but then they holland, they, they, oh, glass, so may 其實香港人咧裝修嘅時候咧，其實都好中意工業風啊。咁所以其實今日呢個項目咧，就係有呢一個特色啦。咁其實都好適合，就係即係任何年紀、年齡層嘅人去住啦。咁所以頭先都有講到就話。誒、呃，除咗海外人士啦，佢哋 local 其實都有好多人就係移居去呢個城市啦。咁同埋就係唔同嘅年齡層啦，包括即係可能後生啲啊，或者去到移民啊，係啦，退一退休，係啦。同埋另外一個，另外一個 Andy 都提出一個重點咧，其實就係咧，誒，因為可能而家即係都會即係發展商都會誒，即、呃、係、就是、迎合呢個 rental market 啦。咁其實佢哋嗰個誒，即係嗰個空間或者個面積咧，其實大概都係誒，即係都誒都會有個限制，係即係都唔會有個。限制即係有個範圍有個 range 喺度，咁都係大概五百尺至七百幾尺，咁呢個係純粹真係好好 investment 啊，係好 rental 嘅嘅嘅嘅嗰個產品咯，叫做或者係項目啦。咁但係其實呢一個咧，其實因為係改建啦，咁其實裏面咧個空間咧其實就係會比較大啲。咁其實呢個可能頭先聽 Andy 講，其實淨係去到上千尺或者千一尺以上。咁其實即係呢一個其實亦都係可以即係適合唔同即係家庭啊，係啊，即係其實可能即係即係大家都可能即係有冇聽過即係可能大。大家都聽過 love 啦，咁其實呢依樣嘢其實就好似，即、就、係、是、好似感覺，佢未，佢好似一個小複式嘅感覺。嗯、即係其實咧，好似香，其實香港好少見啊依樣嘢。同埋通常即係香港地又地少啦，咁可能。誒呢一個項目就係我覺得最吸引就係個樓底係好高，係個係即係點解？點解嗰個 loft 叫做 loft 咧？其實就因為嗰個咧，即係嗰個樓底即係高，即係非常之高，係即係即係我叫 double double ceiling 或者 triple ceiling。咁其實可以你就係因為你咁高個樓底先可以做到一個 loft 出嚟咯，即係小，即係其實佢叫閣樓啦。但係其實我哋感覺上根本就係一個小複式咯。咁、嗯、其實可能即係嗰個尤其是嗰、那個即係嗰個空間係好大啦，俾到大家其實一個煥然一新嘅感覺。咁其實我哋即係。呃、我哋嚟緊，我哋都會同大家去、呃、即介紹呢一個嘅項目啦。咁其實而家即賣賣啲關子俾大家先。咁啊，所以其實、呃、即、呃、今日嚟到，我哋都即好即多謝 Andy 同我哋即講分享咗咁多啦。咁其實我哋其實啱啱都有個嘅現場觀眾啦。So、um, first thing, thank you, thank you, Andy, to share, share. share. You're share. You're so more more like information, so or more like living, investing in yeah, the UK, Liverpool, yeah, or living experience、uh, with us. But then、uh, we I mean, we just got the、uh, We just got the questions from a live、yeah. audience, and、um, he's、uh, he's it he seems like he's uh, uh, quite interested to living in live Liverpool, and、uh, yeah. he's asked about like how、uh, how about, about the job opportunity. Yeah. Like, so like what 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 kind of、uh, job opportunity there is it good or not? Is it easy to find a job, or which sector or which industry is more easy to find job in Liverpool? Uh, there's all men, all manner of jobs in Liverpool.、Uh, we've had a lot of、uh, government departments have been moved out of the the south of England、um, and been taken up place、um, larger buildings around the cities,、uh, tax offices and the immigration offices and things, passport offices, all huge employers within Liverpool. Also, Liverpool and the North Docks. Particularly where Tobacco Warehouse is, that is now being designated for the new cultural quarter of Liverpool. So we're trying to entice、uh, media type companies,、um, you know, stage stage companies,、um, theatrical companies, and things coming, which are already in Liverpool, but they're moving towards the Docklands where Tobacco、uh, Dock is situated, and we've got a lot of、uh, property there. To house them for that, so there's lots of job job opportunities in all sectors. May a, a big sector is a、uh, media,、uh, IT, and technology.
。哦 ，OK，I、okay, see。入，其實啱啱 Andy 同我哋講咧，其實就係、是、因為其實頭先啱啱有現場觀眾咧，就係、是、問究竟其實如果我想去住喺 Liverpool 嘅話，其實即當然啦，咁其實咁有冇工作機會啊、揾工啊嗰啲？咁其實 Andy 都話其實而家即好多好多嗰啲大嘅機構或者甚至係政府機構，其實佢哋都都會去唔同嘅城市去即係 relocate 佢哋嗰個 office 啊，係啊，辦公室啦。咁啊，其實咧，其實個工作機會咧，絕對係有嘅。咁同埋有頭先我哋都提過 infrastructure 啦，我哋有 power house 啦。咁啊，其實咧係會即係製造好多嗰啲即係 job opportunity。咁其實好多嘅，另外佢話啱啱即係科技啦、tech 同埋 media 啦。係啦，咁呢個就係頭先嗰幾個即係比較熱門嘅 sector。啱啱啊 Andy 同我哋分享啦。咁希望希望 Andy 嘅解答可以即係解答到呢位即係觀眾嘅嗰個問題啦。係、嗯、啊，咁都好歡迎大家即係繼續，如果有問題都留言啦。嗯、因為其實誒，我哋都係將誒嘉賓嘅 content information 擺咗喺 comment box 啊。咁大家誒可以。喺 Facebook 上面留言之餘咧，如果有更加即係深入嘅資料係想詢問嘅話咧、嗯，其實都可以歡迎咧直接聯絡我哋嘅嘉賓嘅。係 ，OK， so um thank you Andy for uh your for sharing. sharing your experience with us and、uh, what what was actually happening is in Liverpool and um take a break and um and have see a, you guys <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs> see you see you in the sections because Andy is going to uh like have a, a brief brief us or explain more about like the in, investment market or how to invest uh the properties in, in Liverpool a bit more more in more details so the see you see you later Andy okay、Bye. speak to you soon yeah yeah、Thank、okay. You. 係啦，咁啊，其實咧，我就我哋我哋其實啱啱呢一個嘅誒，即係呢一個部分，我哋就啱啱同大家即係講咗，其實大環境趨勢啦。係啊，咁我哋介紹多啲，其實 Liverpool 究竟係即係利物浦呢個城市係點啦？因為其實即係我哋都即係大家即係即係其實可能對佢嘅印象就比較。即係都係可能係誒，即係誒唔會話特別熟悉啦，唔會特別即好似倫敦咁熟啦。咁我哋都可能都係即係比較旅遊嘅景點會為為主啦。咁所以其實都想同大家介紹多啲。咁其實啱啱佢都講緊就係、是、誒、呃，即係今日今日想同大家講嗰、那個誒、呃、利物浦誒、呃，即係誒 Tobacco Warehouse 啦。咁啊，其實呢個係一個嘅歷史建築啦。咁其實我哋講咗咁耐，其實但係我又講咗其實佢係一個新力場啦，係一個好 unique 嘅 project 啦。其實講咗阿 Sandy 同我哋都講咗，其實就係佢可以即係比平。是而家市面上見到嘅嘅 project 啦，其實佢嗰個面積咧係大好多嘅，因為其實平均都係五百至七百幾尺，咁但係就而家一個基本上上千尺，咁啊但係其實佢個價錢都係非常之吸引嘅。咁其實我哋都講咗咁多啦，其實樣我哋就跟住睇下樣啦。咁所以咧，我哋而家咧就同大家就播下。第二條片咧，其實咧就係想同大家講下依一個嘅周圍個環境 ，Stanley Dock 啦，同埋一個 Tobacco Warehouse 個背景。咁啊，大家請細心欣賞啦。係，係啊。咁希望同大家都可以即係大家誒，即係即係睇下，即係究竟其實佢嗰個歷史建築係咩樣啦，同埋係誒周圍係啲乜嘢嘅。係啦，嗯，我哋個去片。係啦。The historic docklands extend north of the city centre into an area known as the Ten Streets, a multi-billion regeneration area. Where former warehouses are being converted into residences and businesses in the artistic, creative, and digital fields. At the heart of these historic docks sit three architecturally and historically important buildings. One of which is the Tobacco Warehouse, the world's largest brick warehouse and Liverpool's largest landmark. In 1901, Liverpool had a dream to build the biggest warehouse the world had ever seen. A building fit for a thriving city at the heart of global trade. Tobacco Warehouse was born, a monument to the dreams of the hardworking people of Liverpool. But times move on, dreams fade, and fortunes change. The Tobacco Warehouse fell into disuse and disrepair. But now it is time to dream big again. To dream of an iconic building made great once more, of a thriving community, a new place to live, work, and play. Tobacco Warehouse is being converted into 550 exceptional residential waterfront apartments, the largest heritage conversion in the UK's history. With generous proportions, distinctive industrial features, and impeccable modern design. This landmark building is being transformed into unique warehouse homes with spectacular views over Liverpool's historic waterfront. This is a truly original building. Industrial heritage features, including exposed brickwork, structural columns, and concrete ceiling beams, 
are combined with impeccable modern design that propel this iconic building into the 21st century while preserving its original architectural charm. Already developed just across the dock is the outstanding Titanic Hotel and Rum Warehouse, winner of multiple awards for heritage, regeneration and operations. Tobacco Warehouse is helping to reinvigorate this area further, acting as a catalyst for the regeneration of the area. And the new Everton Football Stadium is planned to be built just across the street in the same architectural style as Tobacco Warehouse. Tobacco Warehouse is within walking distance of Liverpool's rich culture of art and music. The stroll from Tobacco Warehouse to the city centre will take you along the stunning waterfront, past the Royal Liver Building, Tate Liverpool and Royal Albert Dock. From art galleries to museums, fine dining to iconic music venues, the very best of Liverpool is on your doorstep. Just a mile from the Three Graces, Liverpool City Centre and the Pall Mall Office District, Tobacco Warehouse is perfectly located to escape the hustle and bustle of city life without spending hours commuting. Hello 重點去再深入去介紹一下那其實我們現在會請我們另外一位的Speaker 嗨, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Can, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Hello. Hi. Good. good. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. We just uh, we just uh, play a video like after after Andy's uh, presentation, so they share us the experience and um, we talk about that uh, we're going to introduce a uh, tobacco warehouse to Hong Kong audience. So and so uh, and then and then we play the video to to the audience to show that okay, it's really spacious areas and it's a uh, it's a it's a really unique. And um, it's a signature, signature the surrounding project. Yeah, the yeah, surrounding area actually is uh, is uh, quite a diff uh, It's going to have a big development there. It's a regenerate regeneration of the of the um the the dog Core, areas. Yes. Yeah. So um, so can can you can you can you introduce your uh, can you introduce uh, yourself to our Hong Kong audience? Um, uh, introduce a bit more and um to uh, and um to introduce about the companies and the, the track records is not only not only the default uh, developing um developing the tobacco warehouse and uh, actually it's uh, uh, also other other recognized buildings and projects you you, you guys have been you, you guys have been working for yeah thank you thank you Patrick. Hello, no, thank you for having us. Um, yeah, my name is Patrick Power. Uh, I'm a director of uh, Stanley Dock uh, Properties Limited, uh, which is the developer at Stanley Dock, obviously including Tobacco Warehouse in Liverpool. Um, I'm also director of the main board, Harcourt Developments. Um, we've uh, done real estate transactions in about 11 countries. Uh, we employ approximately about 1,500 people, and we're involved in most use classes of real estate, um, including residential for sale, for rent uh, or retirement, uh, hotel, leisure and tourism, office, industrial, and even in the healthcare sector. Over the last number of decades, our organization has overseen the construction of approximately 10 million square feet. And we've won, won multiple awards for historic restoration, placemaking, business to arts, and our hotel and tourism operations have won many international awards. Um, some of our um, Developments include Park West Dublin. It's a 230-acre business park which incorporates residential, retail, and a hotel. And to date, we've constructed uh, over 4 million square feet. We have another 4 million square feet master plan in that particular development. Titanic Water in Belfast, 
Um, that's a roughly, uh, again, 185 acres in Belfast City. And we've done offices, residential, leisure. Uh, we've even done film studios, which included the production for the Game of Thrones. And probably the most noteworthy one is we've developed and constructed and operate the Titanic Belfast. Titanic Belfast is a commemorative project for the centenary of the Titanic ship. Um, obviously, the Titanic ship was uh, designed, constructed, and set sail from Belfast, from the Harland and Wolf shipyard. Um, we also have uh, redesigned the, uh, the drawing offices, which are part of a hotel known as Titanic Hotel in Belfast today. Um, and actually, Titanic Belfast is the second most visited paid attraction in Ireland now, and um, second, of course, to Guinnesses. And um, we've other developments um, <clears throat> in the Caribbean, namely, we'll say, for an example, the five star hotel in Carlisle Bay in Antigua. We're currently developing just north of Seattle in conjunction with the Port of Bellingham in the town of Bellingham, uh, north of Seattle, as I say, just south of Vancouver. So that's a little bit of background for ourselves. And really <clears throat> what I wanted to do, and you've asked me, is to uh, talk about the development. And first of all, uh, I want to put uh, Stanley Dock in um, in the context of its surrounding areas. And to do that, um, I suppose uh, Andy uh, very well put what Liverpool is about and, and its attractions. But just to reiterate some of the, um, uh, some of the points there, Effectively, um, <clears throat> Andy was uh, uh, outlined that the metropolitan area in Liverpool has roughly about two and a quarter million people, but has within a um, one-hour drive about the caves for about six million people. Um, it is uh, the UK's uh, fifth largest uh, city, and more importantly, is part of the Northern Powerhouse region. The Northern Powerhouse region is an amalgamation of that area of uh, North England which is a huge, uh, huge investment has, has, has gone into and is going into. In Liverpool alone, um, there's been about 10 to 15 billion invested in the region over the last 10 to 15 years. And as Andy correctly outlined, over 10 billion is planned for the next 10 to 15 years uh, in Liverpool itself. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 其實剛剛其實呢就誒 那麼其實你residential啊 即是怎麼說呢?不同用處的項目他們也有涉獵 那個海港其實他們做了一個Titanic的描述 英國當然有啦,美國啊加勒比海啊巴拿馬其實都會有咯 
誒 Liverpool 咯，咁我將時間交翻俾 Patrick。Patrick， so that I know I I see I see your see your slides and it seems seems it looks that you're going to like uh uh um to share us more about Liverpool, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would just like to um uh, illustrate uh Stanley Dock, its surrounding area, and um then we'll talk uh, uh, as we go along uh, to to actually show its surroundings, show the buildings themselves, uh, both externally and uh, and the interiors. So I suppose really this um <clears throat> illustration is to show um in the foreground um. Stanley Dock and Stanley Dock is made up of the first building which we've redeveloped and is trading uh, the Tannic Hotel and the Rome Warehouse. The Tobacco Warehouse which is the building in, 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 in question that we're going to discuss and then the South Warehouse is hidden somewhere behind the Mammoth uh, Tobacco Warehouse which is even bigger than the Titanic Hotel but it's, um, <clears throat> it's hidden behind there. Uh, because, uh, and then if you take then if you look in the in the background you're one mile as andy referred to earlier from the central business district the uh, palmal area and if the idea <clears throat> between stanley dock and the city center of liverpool that we will be regenerating the um north uh, liverpool area the 10 streets uh, which is the creative district that was being referred to and, and liverpool waters which i'll, I'll touch on, on in a moment and the, the next slide actually shows if you see tobacco warehouse then in the background that's where they where you are in proximity to uh, liverpool's uh, city center and the three graces which are often referred to uh, three iconic buildings right there in the foreground uh, next to the water the center one being the cunard building the old headquarters for the Cunard Liner. That's actually where the local government, Liverpool City uh, Council, actually govern from. Uh, so there, that, that really uh, illustrates where you are in relation to the city, uh, the central business district, and straight across from the Three Graces then is the shopping district uh, in, in its own right, which has been anchored by Liverpool One, uh, a one billion pound investment done over the last, uh, last decade. <clears throat> So that's it's a uh, it's it, it, where it is. I want to flick through to illustrate the likes of the ten streets. There's a lot of warehousing within that again, which will be um, uh, primarily developed for employment-led digital media and creative industries. There is six million square feet planned for that 125-acre area. <clears throat> Parallel to that, then is the Liverpool Waters, which um, is adjacent to Stanley Dock. And it's a fantastic regeneration project, which again, if you look at Stanley Dock in the background from the Mersey, uh, you can see what is planned for, for, for that area. So huge amount of regeneration between uh, the 10 streets um, development and Liverpool waters to take place uh, in, the, in the area for which, uh, as you can see there, Stanley Dock and the uh, infamous tobacco warehouse is, is an anchor too. Um, adjacent to uh, Stanley Dock is the proposed, um, you see on the left there, um, is the proposed Everton uh, football stadium. Now, the Everton uh, football stadium uh, is one of Liverpool's based uh, premiership, premiership football teams. And, and adjacent to Stanley Dock um, Tobacco Warehouse, you can see um, there, there is where the proposed Everton a new stadium is to go. Now it replicates the tobacco warehouse, which uh, is a testament uh, to its to the iconic appearance of the tobacco warehouse. I suppose in uh, an English phrase, uh, mockery is the best form of flattery. So it's actually, if you actually look closely, the <clears throat> the red brick facade and that type is uh, our, our finish is proposed to replicate the tobacco warehouse and uh, and be an iconic building in, in its own right. And, and uh, irrespective of whether you support Liverpool in red or Everton in blue, um, this illustration is the one that Everton has produced for its football stadium, which will be an over 50-something thousand uh, seater stadium, uh, again, nearby and part of the regeneration that's going on in the Stanley Dock uh, area. And just back down uh, further from uh, Stanley Dock on the water, uh, the new uh, cruise ship terminal is also proposed. Um, just again, less than a mile away from our development. 
系明白 ，thank you，thank you Patrick。系，其实啱啱其实 Patrick 咧就系佢个 slide 即系几图咧，其实就同我哋即系都介绍咗呢一个地区啦。其实有几个重点，咁我都即系精简地同大家可以再即系介绍多少少啦。咁首先其实咧，诶、呃，即系啱啱呢一个 Tobacco Warehouse 咧，其实系一个即系诶、呃，即系暂时可以讲系世界上最大嘅砖嘅嘅仓库，前身系一个砖嘅仓库啦。咁啊，其实因为实在太即系佢嗰个历史价值好高啊，咁所以其实当大家其实喺香港都有。见嗰啲历史建筑，其实其实佢系，即系佢要维持翻佢嗰个诶，即系嗰个外貌啦。咁其实里边就系会改建，但系实外貌系唔会变嘅。咁啊，其实佢呢个地区咧就系一个 standing block。其实头先阿 Patrick 其实佢个 slide 咧，其实都有 show 俾我睇。其实就系即系以前系一个嘅海港啦，即系嗰个即系叫避，即系有啲似系码头啊、避风港啊，类似系呢样嘢。咁啊，其实咧当然啦，其实你要改建呢样嘢咧，其实首先嗰个即系原因就诶，即系除咗要保留历史价值啦。咁啊，其实佢冇可能净系即系。淨係搞，即係淨係你搞依棟嘢，但係側邊你唔搞噶。咁啊，所以其實我頭先都講過，其實一個成個嘅活化區啊。咁啊，成個嘅活化區咧，其實你都喺個圖佢都見到，其實佢同嘅 CBD， 即係利物浦嘅 CBD 咧，非常之近。咁其實非常之，其實都係大概可能你揸車咧，都係幾分鐘、幾分鐘嘅車程都已經去到去到 CBD、嗯。咁其實另外一個比較特色嘅咧，其實頭先都提過啦。其實一個 iconic 嘅 building 咧，其實佢係一個磚嘅。咁其實咧，佢成個活化咗之後咧，其實佢喺側邊咧，其實有嗰啲誒會嗰啲 building 咧，其實都會同一個好似喺個 same style， 都係一啲磚嘅形式。嗯、當然，梗係唔係磚砌翻出嚟啦。咁其實其中佢講話，即係、就是、一個全新嘅足球場啦。係啦。咁即係可能佢個個 stadium 啊，係啦，側邊嗰啲 building。係一個即係好同我哋 Tobacco Warehouse 好相似，就係紅磚城砌成嘅一個外觀啦。係啊。咁另外就係即係而家依一個圖，大家都可以睇到一個全新嘅遊輪碼頭啦。嗯。係啊。咁另外頭先啊 ，Andy 都有提到啦，即係可能好多 tech 啊、digital 啊、media 嘅公司咧，都會因為亦都係好近 CBD 啦。咁所以其實成個區或者成個計劃都係提供到好多即係新全新嘅就業機會啦。係啊，咁同埋因為都講係一個係一個 regeneration 啦，或者係一個即係重新活化區。咁啊，其實活化區咧，其實誒基本上佢都誒佢唔會淨得住噶。咁啊，其實基本上咧係一個即係成一個文化區又或者係小社區。其實除咗住之外咧，其實佢亦都有其他嘅商業活動啦、文化活動啦。咁所以其實你見到有 stadium 啊，或者有其他嘅唔同嘅誒。即係即係 theatre 啊，或者可能係誒，即係可能新嘅即係初創公司啊，係啦，即係、就是、art space 啦、啊。咁、嗯、所以其實點解亦都配合翻頭先，即係即係講就話其實佢嗰個就業機會其實亦都係有新嘅新嘅誒工種咧，其實係會喺利物浦度落户。咁其實就即係希望，即係講真，依一個其實一個好大嘅概念，喺未來嗰十幾二十年，其實亦都係係係會係會帶到一個全新嘅面貌，一個 Liverpool， 即係利物浦俾大家咯，係啊。咁所以其實即係依一個係啊，即係啱啱依頭先見到而家幾張圖，其實都係一個即係誒，即係未來其實佢哋一個發展嗰個藍圖啦。其實將來會係點啦？其實都希望可以俾到大家即係多一啲嘅誒誒，即係概念啦。其實將來會係點？咁誒，依個其實就係、是。佢嗰、那個其實我想講就係佢嗰個潛力咯，即其實你你唔單即其實雖則話潛力可能係即係投資啦，咁其實除咗投資之外，其實佢都係你嚟話你住，咁其實我住，咁我我都希望嗰個區或者嗰個社區其實係一個好嘅，即係好嘅發展啊，或者係周圍個配套係好方便啊、齊全啊。咁其實因為其實即係一個即係即係 Tobacco Warehouse， 除咗佢好近 CBD 之外咧，其實佢係到其他學校，即係可能大家都會關心，其實會對佢其他附近嘅大學啊，其實都係好近嘅，即係車程其實都係都係可能係。圈啊，係新圈都係十零廿分鐘嘅喎，就算你話。我要去成 Lennon Airport 嘅話，誒即係唔係唔係成 Lennon， 即係 John Lennon 嘅 Airport 嘅話，其實都係大概三十分鐘嘅車程。咁啊，其實即係其實都係即係一個都係近咯，即係唔好諗住啊，我係一個即係一個碼頭咁又又點？都唔係，都係一個好方便咯。咁所以其實即係即係大家都可以去關注下一個項目。咁其實我就將時間交翻俾誒，即係交翻俾 Patrick 啦，係啦。Oh, OK， Patrick， we just we just we just recap your 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 important points to our Hong Kong Hong Kong audience and further and further uh further explain more the the um the location advantages of a tobacco warehouse such as like um near to CBD, uh near to all those like major university educations. And the all new the jobs opportunity, yeah, and yes. also like just a thirty-minute drive to to John Lennon's airport is a really convenient, uh, convenient location. It's not only the dock, and uh, it's a kind of like a big development for uh from the government. And uh, we we can we can see that there's a like uh, in the future the five. 
five years, 10 years, and 20 years, and the that would be have a, of the whole yeah. And uh, when we will show a new face, new face to Liverpool to to um, to the to the people in exactly. Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. So the and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, over to you. Uh, yeah, over to you. And uh, cause uh, we we uh, we 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 just we just uh, 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 like uh, we just understand more about the surrounding areas, and uh, we just talk about uh, this uh, the largest uh, brick warehouse in 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 the world, and uh, now it's uh, regenerated into the whole new it's, uh, an, another style of a uh, living, and uh, bring the new living experience to to uh, to the people living there, and uh, we believe, and uh, we are we are we are love to. To see what's actually what's actually look the standing dock and the tobacco warehouse, what's the real look like? Yeah, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, not at all. No, thank you. No, well done. Um, no, just really to uh, focus on the development itself, Stanley Dock, and I'm just going to take you through like Stanley Dock. Stanley Dock is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, as mentioned earlier, it's made up of the Titanic Hotel and Rum Warehouse, the Tobacco Warehouse and then the Southern Warehouse, and has over about 2 million square feet of uh, red brick uh, warehousing, and that's the development of Stanley Dock alone. Um, and the first, that, that, like, if just to put it into context and the iconic nature of it, that's about on the main road. It is the main road out and, and into uh, North Liverpool, and you pass that, most people pass it uh, every day, and it is an imposing, an imposing building. <clears throat> and that's from the other side. And the first building, as I referred to, is, was the, uh, the Northern Warehouse, which was uh, uh, converted to the Titanic Hotel and Rum Warehouse. And I just really want to walk you through what actually has taken place, and then we go on to what is currently on site with the Tobacco Warehouse. And um, like the first development, here, it, 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 the Titanic Hotel and Rome Warehouse, it, while it was uh, developed and constructed by ourselves, we also operated it. And it's won many awards. It's won uh, awards for historic regeneration, interior design awards, and as an operation, it's won many awards. I'm just going to give you a quick walk through the hotel just to show you, um, like that's the uh, room Warehouse on the right, um, and to talk, talk you through to show you uh, the likes of the, uh, the rooms themselves. Similar to the tobacco warehouse, it's the room size that differentiates this hotel from others. The average room size is about 550 square feet. And what, is, what we have actually utilized is the original features like the open cast iron beams, like the vault ceilings in the bedrooms. And we've also done, a, that's like a typical bedroom, which again, as I say, differentiates. It's more than twice the normal hotel bedroom size in many, many cities. Um, like you see, that's the restaurant. Again, the open cast iron uh, beams, uh, pillars, uh, the vaulted ceilings, that's done throughout the entire ground floor, be it the restaurant or be it the reception area or the bar area, where, as, as you're looking at there now. <clears throat> What's a very novel one is the basement. The basement area has the original vaulted ceilings, which create an elegant environment for where we uh, they have the relaxing spa and leisure area. And that is actually original. That's there since 1845, um, and uh, it, uh, of course it's very popular. But that's that's bringing the historic uh, building itself back into economic use, and uh, and, and it's very very very, uh, very, very popular. And um, that's again just showing the historic features being maintained. That's a view from the hotel, look, looking across the dock at, uh, to Tobacco Warehouse. And just to finish on that particular building, the Rum Warehouse <clears throat> uh, is, as the name suggests, was a warehouse for rum. What we've made it is an area for extensive uh, conference banqueting space, for meeting space, and uh, it's hosted many ceremonies. It's even had victory parties, for example, some of Liverpool football club success in Europe. And, um, and the hotel itself uh, is the hotel of choice for all the travelling premiership football teams that come to, say, to play in the city, be they playing uh, Liverpool uh, or, or Everton. Um, one of the features in the um, banqueting conference area is this token replica of the Titanic staircase in the reception area uh, of the Rome warehouse. It's a very popular backdrop uh, for photo opportunities. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really stunning, stunning images there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, just I suppose the the that that's 
that that pretty much just shows you what if you just flick back through them it shows what has been created that in relation to its appearance was the uh, worst condition of the three warehouses so it goes to show what actually has been created and as i say it's won uh, many accolades for not alone its construction or its regeneration but also now since in, in its operation and then what i've actually shown here is an image which shows the other side of the tobacco warehouse to show the southern warehouse which is identical in in, in a, 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 a building to the northern warehouse which is the titanic hotel and just shows how mammoth of uh, in size the tobacco warehouse is when you put the two of them alongside each other that's the southern warehouse and then in what is the ground floor of the tobacco warehouse that's what you're going to be looking across in the in the lobby area back towards the hotel yeah and so we, we, we can see that this is a kind of like mixture of um, of the old times especially so it's really yeah. amazing the the basement image like it's a it's a it's a, it's a um like the spar yeah, and... it's just like a spa it's a lot not only a swimming pool and um it's a really look looks great and um, i think i think after um, those images is maybe not enough for us or maybe not enough for our our, our audience and uh, we would like to show uh a video and a video video to our audience like okay what's actually what actually the the stock uh the standing stock and the tobacco house inside what was look like inside so let's let's just go to the first uh, third part of video yeah residents get the best of both worlds waking up to calming waterfront views before taking a quick stroll into the city for work the dual aspect apartments are spread over two floors with dramatic double height living rooms, providing a sense of volume and light rarely seen in the city. The floor areas range from 85 to 250 square metres, which are twice the size of standard apartments in Liverpool. In addition, the ground floor of the building contains on-site commercial space, which will include offices, retail, food and beverage offerings. Upper mezzanine levels look out over the inner courtyards and the tranquil historic docks. Each apartment comes with a fully fitted kitchen, kitted out with European manufactured appliances. Standard amenities include touch control induction hobs, integrated oven, dishwasher, fridge freezer and washing drying machine. Under cabinet lighting, generous preparation areas sophisticated Italian cabinetry and durable timber effect floor tiles make hosting your friends a pleasure. Fully fitted bathrooms are tiled with geometric ceramics. Creating a sense of community is part of what makes Tobacco Warehouse so special. The private residence lounge with soaring ceilings and beautiful brickwork is an expansive space to enjoy a tea or coffee or simply to unwind and relax with friends. Tobacco Warehouse sets a new standard for residential amenities in Liverpool. Phase one of the project will see the western end of the warehouse transformed into 192 modern apartments, ranging from one bedroom units to three bedroom corner units and stunning penthouses. The first units are due for completion in early 2021, so we encourage potential purchasers to act swiftly to avoid disappointment. Facilities 或者是什麼呢? So Patrick, after we played the third, uh, third part of the video, like showing the interior and the inner inner look of the tobacco warehouse. So so any like uh like special features or special uh facilities or like heating system, all those stuff can be introduced more to our audience. 
Yes, um, I suppose just to reiterate and maybe dwell a little bit on what the video has illustrated yeah. there, uh, the tobacco warehouse itself. Uh, yes, it's um, deemed to be the world's largest brick uh, warehouse in the world, um, muted to have 26 uh, million bricks. Now, I can't confess to having counted them, but that that's an accolade that's well spoken about. The Tobacco Warehouse um, is one of the largest heritage conversions uh, ever done in the UK, um, I suppose with its distinctive industrial features and then matching it with impeccable modern design. It's to make this landmark building and transform it into, into the exceptional uh, warehouse homes that, uh, that, that I'm going to talk you through in brief. Um, the size of the building, uh, again, just to put it in context, if the building was laid out on a flat, it would extend to over 32 acres. That's the size of the entire building that, that, that we're, speak, we're speaking about. But if you actually walk through the building, uh, similar uh, to the video, but just to take it, like the, the double height entrance uh, in the lobby area is just to illustrate the aspect of, of the generous, enormous proportions of the actual development itself. And that's really when you walk through uh, the front uh, uh, lobby uh, door, you're greeted again with um, uh, uh, you're experiencing grandeur from the from the front door in. Your double heighted space, very well, uh, very well fitted out in terms of its interior design. Um, you have a concierge desk, which will be there. Twenty, it will be manned and personnel on a twenty four hours uh, to, to give people peace of mind and and also to deal with their day, day, day to day queries, etc. Um, the lobby is pretty much. I suppose you can say it's an area to unwind, or you could say it's an area uh, equally. It's it's set up there for a casual worker. There's ample Wi-Fi. There is uh, uh, many power sockets, uh, all there for you to to pretty much relax, relax in a kind of a semi co-working type environment. But it is a private area for the residences. Um, and at the far side <clears throat> of that is actually a coffee dock. Now, the coffee dock uh, for us will be set out as an airport lounge uh, with refreshments readily to hand uh, at, at all times. So, again, that would be a unique feature uh, for, 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 for the residences. Hi, 全部這麼漂亮我覺得其實是一個很合適的 Patrick, we just talked about it. Actually, it's not it's not it's not only like living in a in a, 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 a in unique or, or unique project, it's actually it's a we are living in a art piece. It's a really it's really stunning, you see. Because because like because kind of like combining combining the um, the heritage plus the contemporary art piece is a really is a really uh, like extraordinary ex exceptional living experience, yeah, for people who live in there. Well, that's correct. Yeah, well, that that is the uh, essence of it is the mixture of the historic and ar architecture yeah. Uh, yeah. aspect 
and where that meets the modern interior design and facilities. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, so I, I'll take you to the units themselves, and you, you, you use the phrase there, unique. These are unique because this building is not replicated anywhere else in the world. So the use of the, use of the phrase unique is, 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 is pertinent in this situation. I'm showing this for people that may not be used to reading plans or cross sections. But I, I, I want to actually take you through the units because they actually are all in the living areas. All the units are double heighted in, 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 in layout. And I don't know if, if my cursor shows here, but actually we have a unique, unique situation where each corridor here um, facilitates three floors. So if that's on level um, if that's on level, uh, we say two, you obviously go downstairs to in the green unit and you go upstairs in the blue unit. So level two caters for levels one, two, and three, and so forth, level five, level eight, and, 11, and, 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 and uh, level 11. So that's just on a cross section to explain it. And maybe for a easier it, 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 it illustrated by showing the actual units themselves, because I suppose what we're doing again with the units themselves is continuing with the team of generous proportions. The unit sizes are, 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 as referred to earlier, from 900 square feet to up to 2,700 square feet. But the average is around, the average unit, and I mean average, is about 1,350 square feet. So with the living area double heighted, it gives almost that uh, increased um, proportion proportionality of it. But again, you have the exposed beams and the brickwork, bringing back some of which I'll touch on as we go through the unit, uh, the modern internal design uh, with the um, historical ar ar architecture, like uh, uh, the staircases, the double heighted NS, um, uh, the balcony there, all done uh, with, with, with a throwback to the historic type ar architecture. And I'll just flick through a few of these. They were shown on the video, but and also they can be got by people on the um, website. Uh, tobaccowarehouse.co.uk so you can dwell on them in, in, in your own time but just again just to show again the generous proportions double height exposed brickwork and and, and 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 the exposed beams which actually what helps to create it and that view out that window there as you can see is across at the titanic hotel so you haven't far to go to that uh, uh, leisure area that you were referring to uh, uh, not so long ago again that's just a few illustrations in 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 slow motion just to show you what what the appearance is uh, internally and they're actually uh units that are actually complete uh, 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 to, to, to today yep thank Again, you back, yeah. just back to re-illustrate to the to, to to the audience that effectively if you take this area here being level two uh so one person goes into the unit and is double height here and goes upstairs with the um uh, bedrooms uh, overhead and then the other person goes across and actually has a double height of living here again with the bedrooms underneath so that's actually um just to add confusion it is <laughs> a duplex but it actually is based on a french architect carbuccia type architecture but in simple modern day terms they're two two-story duplex units Oh, thank you, Patrick. 其實啱啱其實咧，其實誒，依家見到依幅圖啦，其實亦都係即係除咗我哋其實即係由開始到而家，其實我哋都話依個 project 係好特別啦，好獨特啦。咁啊，其實獨特化其實唔單止係佢嘅外形啦，佢嘅歷史背景啦，甚至係佢嗰個裏邊嗰個室內都係一個非常之特色。咁其實頭先 Patrick 其實同我哋一個嘅即係一個圖咧，其實因為卡拉好似 puzzle 咁，其實一卡拉卡拉咁嘅位。咁啊，其實咧其實就都好似俾你揀就係其實首先你。可以係啦，你你想你翻屋企嗰時究竟係落去啊，定係上去啦？咁呢個亦都係即係大。大家可以選擇咯，即係另外其實誒誒，你嗰個室內個裝修其實雖不話工業風啦，咁啊，但係其實你見到而家張相，其實佢都係非常之摩登嘅，其實佢都係即係好現代化啦。咁當然啦，其實保留翻佢嗰個歷史建築就係見到啲柱位。咁啊，其實依一樣嘢其實咧就會係即係誒，即係帶俾咗嗰個好有歷史嗰種感覺，同埋其實那種另一種嘅唔同嘅嘅嘅體驗啦。因為其實可能大家即係住，就算可能住 house 啦，或者可能住 apartment 啦，其實依啲咧都係好難會有。
嘅機會咯。同埋見到個即係嗰個樓底樓底咁高咧，其實真係感覺其實佢佢樓底咁高，其實嗰除咗空間感十足，其實佢面積都係唔細嘅。咁其實其實佢係就可能頭先見到誒，即、呃、係、就是、見到佢嗰、那個誒，即、呃、係、就是、例子就係可能兩房已經係差唔多千三尺畫以上。其實就算最大，可能係去到二千七都會有。咁其實呢個就係就視乎即係、就是、大家個需求啦。其實即係當然啦，走上走落其實就係、是、就係、是、你嘅你你可以去揀啦。咁其實其實佢想我哋想帶俾大家就係、是、即係另外一種選擇就係、是、啊，如果我要住喺依個 loft 或者我住喺依、這個，其實又係另一種即係唔同咯。見到片段都有即係佢哋唔同嘅房型啦，即係可能分。啊、uh, ，one bedroom， 跟住去到 penthouse， 佢哋都有即係唔同嘅選擇。跟住另外頭先覺得好特別嘅就係佢，因為呢一個項目咧、嗯、都有一個通道啦，可以誒 connect 去到個啊 Titanic 嘅 hotel 啦。咁頭先都見到一其中一張相，即係個設計好似以前咧，可能即係啲人上船咧、嗯、會有一個即係橋或者通道咁樣搭上去。咁頭先嗰個即係效果太相似，係啊，而家見到。其實其實係識聽，識聽廣東話嘅。咁 we we just actually you understand Cantonese and you understand what we are talking about. About the Cantonese. Yeah, yeah. So so uh so any anything you want to add in before we move to next section? So we talk about like investment something. Just just uh I'll finish off very quickly just to show um two uh two aspects really just to reiterate. The, like we're talking about the modern uh, kitchens with built-in appliances, uh, slimline, uh, and I just show you the illustrations of those, which is very very straightforward. Uh, again, just illustrating it, and then in relation to um, the bathrooms and the en suites, they're very uh, contemporary, fitted out with a, a fully tiled. Um, Uh, in those two images there, and uh, pretty much uh, the bedrooms we refer to with the uh, concrete beams and the exposed uh, uh, brickwork again, which is uh, back to the historic aspect of it. And I just wanted to show you those again, all available on the Tobacco uh, Warehouse dot co dot uk, and then really uh, to the west you're facing the uh, Mersey, uh, to the south you're facing towards the city. Which again illustrating the proximity, which is really much a stroll, and then to the north you're facing the Titanic Hotel and and Rome Warehouse and all the facilities that go with it. So I think really that's pretty much just taking you around the surroundings, uh, the North Docks, what's happening here with Stanley Dock in, in 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 its own right, and then I suppose the the the, the building of the moment being the Tobacco Warehouse and what we're uh, creating there. The generous proportions, uh, bringing the historic architecture with modern interiors and the facilities to go with. Hi, thank you, Patrick. 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 其啱啱咧，其實我哋都誒同大家，即係阿 Patrick 都同我哋即係做一個總結，就係話誒，即係如果想誒，即係其實裏邊可以俾到大家唔同嘅感受之外咧，其實大家想睇多啲，因為我哋大家都係，即係我哋都係即係誒誒。即係比如相啦，或者可能係其他即係片段。其實依一個 website 咧，其實依個用依個網址咧，我哋都擺咗喺個 comment box 嗰度。咁所以其實如果大家有興趣咧，亦都可以去去瀏覽翻依個網頁咯。Yeah， thank you Patrick and we just talk about and if if audience and um people watching watching the la this live and they want to know more about Tobacco Warehouse and um it's just a、uh, they feel free to go to Tobacco Warehouse dot co uk and、uh, we also post this、uh, website. The link and um into our um our comment box in the live chat room. So that if they if they want to know more about, just click just just click in and to have a look for further details. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. And um and um uh take a rest first and um and uh while、uh, we and uh when when we when we talk about when we talk about like how to buy it, how to reserve the the units and、uh, we will invite you again to to talk more about like how to buy it, how how to purchase the properties and uh, be, uh thank you, Patrick. First, yeah. Thank you. And hello.
。咁啊，其實我哋啱啱咧就阿 Patrick 同咗好詳細同我哋去講咧，就係、是、誒、呃、即係成個誒、呃、即係嗰個 Topeka Warehouse 佢個背景啦。其實佢嗰、那個誒佢嗰個裏邊個建築啦，無論係建築啦、周圍啦，啊係啦，外外面啊、裏、嗯、邊啊、建築啊，其實究竟究竟裏邊係點咧？會唔會裏邊都係即係同兩？出面咁嘅樣其實又唔係嘅，咁因為其實純粹都係保留翻出面嗰個歷史建築，但其實裏面係一個好煥然一新、一個好摩登嗰、那個嗰、那個室內室內裝修咯。咁其實大家如果即係大家都想即係、呃就是、想知道多少少啊，或者想即係、呃就是、想睇多啲靚相嘅話咧，其實亦都可以去到 Google Warehouse Store Co UK 啦。咁我哋都擺咗喺 comment box， 大家可以瀏覽啦。咁其實咧講講咗咁耐呢個項目，其實大家都應該都會即係好想知道其實啊，我講個。即係其實大家即係唔係住就投資㗎啦，咁其實佢嗰、那個無論住投資，大家都可能。都都想知道其實佢嗰個 investment return 啦，咁啊其實亦都想知道其實究竟而家依一個 Topeka Warehouse 個 project 嗰個 price range 係幾多啦？咁所以其實我哋咧嚟緊咧，我哋誒即係都而家都都會再再次請翻 Andy 上嚟啦。咁係至於阿 Pat 其實一陣間咧 ，Patrick 都會同我哋再講究竟要點買，咁係就我咧都會再請翻佢上嚟㗎。咁所以其實我哋而家事不宜遲，我哋請咗 Andy 上嚟先啦，係啦。Hello， 你 ，Welcome back，Welcome back，Thank you <笑>。Yeah, and uh, uh, um, Pat Patrick just to show us uh, like uh, like all the ex external views, internal uh, internal views of the Tobacco yeah. Warehouse, and I believe that the uh, uh, people uh, Hong Kong uh, Hong Kong audience may want to ask um, like how how much how much is that, and uh, what's the investment return, and um, how how would I like invest like really invest in uh in Liverpool, so. How how is that? So would you mind to 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 um share us some more a bit more information about that? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Well, firstly, uh, thanks to Pat again for showing us through uh, the opportunity at the fantastic uh, tobacco warehouse. I hope you'll agree, you and your uh, viewers, that it's uh, it really is a unique opportunity. Um, certainly, there's no more of these buildings left. Uh, very few of them left to be developed. Certainly in the UK. Uh, so with all that history that goes along with these apartments, it truly is a unique place to live. Um, so what's available at the Tobacco Warehouse? So obviously, so we've got uh, many units available in there at the moment. Uh, a lot have already sold, as we we touched on earlier, with uh, mainly owner occupiers. So people who are actually going to be living there, not as an investment, which is again makes it fantastic opportunity for anybody who's looking to invest in there because the majority of the units will be lived in and not rented out so that creates a good opportunity uh, so the apartments uh we all agree they're very big size very spacious uh certainly fantastic for family to, to move into the building uh, and the price range start from two hundred and fifteen thousand pounds right up to some of the premier apartments which is six hundred and up to £610,000 for the, the large uh, units, which are 2,500 square feet plus. So very, very spacious apartments. Uh, great for capital growth opportunities, outlined by Pat uh, earlier. Um, example sort of returns. So as you can see there, so strong yields on these, and we, we envisage strong yields uh, for the foreseeable future because the type of development it is because it's so unique um if families uh young professionals looking for internal space which is what we've seen the shift in recently um these are the apartments that they're going for because no other development has been um built to this size so example returns are about 5.2 percent up to six percent plus on your investment. Hi. Hi. Okay. 其實啱啱咧，其實 Andy 同我哋講咗咧，其實就係你誒、呃，即係幾錢啊？咁其實大概其實佢個 range 咧，其實係由英磅啦，即係二誒二十一萬磅去到誒六六十一萬磅啦。咁其實大概即係維翻嗰啲而家一對十啦。咁其實就係即係二百幾萬起嘅。咁啊，其實其實就真係即大家都可以去諗下，就係你二百幾萬，其實我就可以住到一個咁靚嘅地方啦。其實一個 art piece 啦，又係一個 loft 啦，一個小複式啦。咁啊，其實即係其實依一個就即係我哋頭先都講就係即係利物浦個房價其實係比倫敦平好多。即係其實即係無論係生活指數啊，或者係嗰個房價，咁其實即係都係你而家見到即係誒誒好多 units 其實都係由二十五萬至到。
，至到至到你誒即係四十萬英磅啦，即係四百幾萬。咁啊，其實喺我香港人嚟講，我哋其實即係可能普通買一個 studio 啊，或者係 one one bedroom 可能都幾百尺。咁但係其實講緊而家即係呢啲 units， 其實就係即係可能。即係三四百萬，其實就可能有一個過千尺，甚至可能接近一千尺，咁其實都可以諗喎。其實亦都即係誒，即係佢嗰個，即係點解佢嗰個 return 會咁會咁強咧？係因為其實好多都係誒、呃，即係本身當地人嗰個需求啦。咁同埋其實就係、是、即係佢自己住嗰個需求好大。咁其實喺一個咁咁咁即係咁獨特啦。咁同埋其實有咁多需求咧，其實呢一個價錢其實真係大家可以諗下咯。係啦，咁即係即係究竟你覺得係平定貴？咁當然你學你會有自己一番嘅見解啦。咁啊，但係。如果即係而家，即係可能誒，大家可能喺可能喺倫敦一區，咁可能倫敦二區，咁可能都聽緊，可能係五十萬或者可能係六十萬英鎊或以上嘅。咁其實大家依個亦都可以去去考慮下咯。係啊，有有 Andy and we 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 just we just talk about the price, the the price range, and ah、uh, to to audience like when when compare when compare to London property price and、uh, normally the London London property price, especially the this ah、uh, the zone one or zone two, they are normally like over like like sixty or seven ah、uh, six ah six hundred or seven hundred ah thousand pounds. Of course, <laughs> like, yeah. For、so, one bedroom or just、yeah. a two bedroom, like ah、uh, uh, apartments, maybe the、yeah. the、uh, the area just like like five hundred to seven ah、uh, seven hundred and fifty square feet that you just mentioned,、yeah. and um but but for now. The tobacco, tobacco warehouse, not only now in the spacious area, but also the price is really is really reasonable. It's a really really low, really cheap cheaper when compared to yeah. London. Yeah, very very competitive in comparison to London prices. Yeah, Certainly when you take into in comparison the、uh, the internal size and square footage, there there's no re relation to what they sell down there. Yeah, yeah, and so and um, especially like living in such uh, uh like historical and uh, and uh, iconic building. So and um, it's not it's not only like living in such great project, but also the art piece that I just I just just told and I just told Patrick. It's a really yeah. stunning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's it. The building's、uh, unique. Certainly, within Liverpool,、uh, everybody in Liverpool knows this building. It's it's、uh, and as Pat said before,、um, on the, on the horizon in Liverpool, everybody drives past it most days to go into the city centre. So it has that appeal and the draw for just Liverpool people who want to live there themselves. Um, so anybody who's looking to emigrate from Hong Kong, certainly fantastic piece of history. To to move into, and certainly a great investment as well, which we touch on there.、Um, you know, if、uh, people are just looking to invest in the、uh, have invest have an opportunity to invest in the tobacco warehouse,、uh, Lodge can certainly look after that、uh, investment for them on a hands off basis, where we can、uh, we can、uh, look after the tenants for them,、uh, any ongoing maintenance issues that are there. For them, so it's a totally hands-off investment that we can look after from start to finish, as long as they hold onto that property. Oh, I see. Yeah, 其實啱啱 Andy 同我哋講咗幾樣嘢嘅。首先咧就係講講緊就係其實嗰個價錢啦。咁佢另外就係佢嗰個即係誒 investment return。咁啊，其實佢嗰個誒即係 gross yield 咧，可以其實由五即係由五個 percent 起啦。咁去到係六個 percent 以上都可以做到。咁因為其實即係主要即係個 return 嚟都係嗰個需求嗰個問題啦。咁啊之後，另外其實其實啊 Andy 你都講咗，就係一個 management 嗰個問題，就係如果你而家即係你而家可能未咁快嚟到啦，咁或者可能係因為而家你而家 lock down 啦，咁其實我咁買咗，其實我未必過到嚟住。咁啊，但係所以其實其實即係誒即係 logic estate 其實亦都有一個即係 hands hand 誒 hands off 嘅一個嘅誒即係 pop 嘅 property management 啦，係咯項目管理啦。咁其實佢要幫你去即係做即係去管理你個物業啦。咁啊令到其實你就唔需要即係太過即係太過麻煩。咁因為其實講真，你去到去到英國。咁其實有好多嘢，即係可能即係水電煤啊嗰啲咁，其實都有個人問下都好啊。咁其實即係你即係都係要即係住得耐咗，你先會知道其實應該係點做。但係就開頭都總有個開始咯。咁啊，其實即係即係誒誒，即係 Logic Estate 其實佢哋一個即係地產啦，其實即係佢個即係物業代理其實亦都可以即係喺依方面都可以幫到你咯。嗯，同埋因為咧，其實即係可能頭先就話第一期就係二零二一年。幾好啦！咁另外就係、是，即係佢成個 community 其實都有好多即係唔同嘅即係
、呃、工作岗位可以提供到啦。咁、嗯、所以其实可能佢嗰、那个即系除咗投资者除咗自主之外，投资咧其实都、那个需求都好大，因为诶侧边亦都有一个新嘅足球场啦。咁、嗯、即系可能好多球队啊，或者以后诶亦、呃、都系创造咗好多唔同嘅诶、嗯呃、工作机会啦、岗位啦。咁亦都系好多即系专业人士可能会就会进驻喺嗰个区域啦。咁、啊、所以个租务其实市场其实都系好可观咯。係啊，咁其實如果 property management 究竟有啲乜嘢可以即係帶到俾大家呢？其實我都我哋嚟緊就問下 Andy 啦。So so Andy, so when when you so you you just talk about the property management, so it's a it's a head hands off. So so which means that so、uh, the buyers is a hassle free. They they just like buy the properties and、uh, and you guys can help to、uh, the manage the prop the property. So matter maybe renting out or find the talents or、uh, or, or like uh, like uh, uh, how the how the how the money the money transfer or The rental, all those stuff. Can can you say a bit more? Because we know that like Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Because now, uh, now we are locked locked down everywhere,、yeah. and now we we like somehow we just have, like buy the property, but we can't we can't come to Liverpool right now. So so what what service like Logic Logic Estate can can provide to our our buyers? Right, so Logic,、uh, who are the main broker selling agent for Tobacco Warehouse, we can also offer the service to look look after the、uh, the property for the investors、um, on a hands off basis. Where we've got many people who are registering to want to live there as tenants already. We have a tremendous amount of people、uh, already registering. It, it, although we're saying right now they're only available to to purchase. So people are saying, "Yeah, but I'm sure people are going to be buying them and want to rent some out. So can we be the first to rent there? Which is great opportunity because as soon as we get them, we know we've got people waiting.、Um, but what we can do for that management is obviously any of the tenants going into the property, they would be vetted by us here. So proper credit checks to make sure that、uh, they're credit worthy. That would look after that investment for you.、Uh, ongoing、uh, checks on the apartments. A 24 hour Uh, contact centre for any ongoing maintenance that、uh, may arise from the apartments with their brand new apartments, so they, they probably wouldn't be much,、um, uh, and just a general day to day running of、uh, looking after that investment for your、uh, buyers.、Uh, all all the tenants, as we said before, would be fully qualified、uh, and vetted.、Uh, we look after all of the. Tenancy administration,、uh, like many parts of the the world now, with there's many regulations surrounding、uh, tenancies and rentals.、Uh, Logic Estates are part of the National、uh, Association of Estate Agents, also members of the Guild of Professional Estate Agents, and we were voted the best、uh, estate agents、uh, by the Sunday Times, which is a well-known.、Uh, Paper、uh, by the Sunday Times in the UK, so、uh, we're well placed to look after somebody's、uh, investment and make sure that it goes swimmingly all the way through. Yeah. So the、uh, so when we talk about the property management, so how so so how how would be the management fee or, or other services fee so that we involve in that in that one? Yeah. Okay, so within the in the apartments themselves, it, there would be、uh, when the tenants go in, there would be. Uh, a, a small two hundred and fifty pounds set up fee to create the tenant and put the tenant in the property, and then there would just be a charge of ten percent of the the rent that's being achieved per month to just look after it. So very low、uh, management fees to look after the tenancy. OK， 所以啱啱 Andy 同你講咧，咁我哋就話，誒咁講真，即係你你你。幫你去,去管理呢個物業，自然就有個管理物業費啦。咁啊，其實咧，其實啱啱 Andy 都同你講咗，就係即係佢嗰個 set up fee 咧，其實就係、是、就係誒，即係二百五十磅啦，再加個即係增值税啦。咁啊，之後其實咧，佢收費就係、是、都係你十個 percent of 你嗰、那個誒、呃，即係嗰個 rent， 即係嗰個租金啊。咁啊，其實就係、是、即係即係好似即係。即係點講都係一個 reasonable 嘅嘅價格咯，其實即係佢幫你又有廿四小時啦，咁啊其實又幫你誒又除幫你 check 你間屋啦，咁啊其實亦都係幫你揾 talent 啦，咁啊其實亦都係會即係當然啦，你交租其實佢都佢自然就佢佢都要交俾你㗎，係咪先？咁啊依樣嘢咁你唔通你真係上門收咩？佢<笑>都會幫你去去搞。每個禮拜都會可以係啊係啊係啊。
，另外就係可能誒 inspection 啊嗰啲都係啦係啦，咁因為都會其實都會照顧到咯。咁、嗯、其實我相信大家都可能即係諗下啊，其實如果即係講講完依啲價錢啦，咁其實究竟即係如果我係即係想有一個 office space 嘅話，咁其實我嘅俾嗰啲俾咗 cat tax 嗰啲咧，即係究竟要俾幾多 tax 啊？咁其實我哋都有嚟緊，我就問 Andy 啦。So so Andy, so we 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 just we just talk about the management fees, all、yeah. all the management services. So as a foreign buyer, it's just like Hong Kong people, and、yeah. um so Like what? What? What's the test? What's the test scheme like? When how much? How much、so、test we have to buy? Well, how much、oh, test we have to pay? The stamp duty or all those stuff? Okay, so there would be a three percent stamp duty for、uh, any anyone buying、uh, and investors buying into the UK,、um, and then obviously there would be twenty percent would、uh, be deducted from. The rents we can sort out the taxation, but the building does qualify for what's called NRL one, which means that the、uh, any of your investors can look after their their tax affairs themselves、um, and report to the UK. That's that's not an issue. But if if they need assistance in doing that, that that's not a problem. We can assist with that. Ah,、uh, that's great. 係啦，咁啱啱其實咧 ，Andy 同我哋講咧，其實例如話個即係嗰個俾税嗰度咧，其實三個 percent。咁啊，但係其實大家會唔會可能大家可能有好多其他税項啊，或者其實唔知點點計啊嗰啲咁嘅嘢。咁所以咧，其實咧，即係誒，即係一個可靠或者係就一個方便嘅，即係即係物業有個人俾我哋問下咧，物業代理俾我問下，其實係好嘅，因為其實佢會你有咩唔明，其實佢會有一個 assistance， 即係其實佢會 assist 你，就話啊，其實你一你一嚟緊咧就係會俾幾多税啊？或者係問題，佢哋可以解答到你啊。咁嚟話就就係話嗱，咁嗰啲税咁其實你嗱你你收到租金啦，咁你就要 income tax 啦。咁其實究竟究竟我點俾咧？咁我點我係咪要點報税啊？嗰啲咁嘅其實咧，你就方便嘅。其實就係佢喺你嗰個租金，即係嚟佢俾你個租金，佢幫你減咗。咁啊，其實依一樣嘢其實就免除咗，就係你又要自己計，又唔知幾時，又會唔會漏俾，又唔知點。咁其實佢幫佢幫你會搞埋咯。咁其實依樣嘢其實都係幾方便嘅。咁啊，所以其實即係大家即係講真啦，即係。其實有好多嘅，即係好多嘅細節啦。其實我哋都好想同大家分享咁，但係因為即係時間，即係時間有限啦，個直播咁，所以其實咧有好多嘢咧，即係都即係即係大家歡迎大家留言啦，或者可能係即係誒聯絡翻，其實誒、呃、即係誒、呃、聯絡翻 Logic S T 啦。咁其實有啲乜嘢都可以去 email 佢哋啊，或者係即係 WhatsApp 佢哋啊，或者係問佢哋。咁其實我相信佢都非常之即係願意去去答你咯，係啊，係啊。So Andy, Andy, thank you for your information about the investment, the methods, the tax, and the m a n a g e m e n t Which we just, uh, we just, uh, 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 talk, talk to our,、um, our audience. Like, okay, if you have any, any specific questions or, or、yeah. other inquiries, we just feel free to contact you guys. And of course, yeah, anytime. Contact, yeah, and a contact email and a WhatsApp number and our comment box and pin tops and so, so,、uh, yeah. so just contact you directly. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if they can't, if they want to send an email or contact us through info、uh, at logicestates.co.uk. We've got a team of people here.、Um, you can even talk to myself if they want to,、um, and you know we can, we can fill them in on any information that we we haven't provided today, or if there's any questions that we haven't covered today, that would be we're more than happy to、uh, answer any questions and satisfy people before、uh, investing or looking to purchase as a home in、uh, the fantastic opportunity that we've got, Stanley Dock. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank, thank you, you, Andy. Thank you, Andy, today. Okay,、yeah. thank you. Thank you。係啦，咁其實大家都啱啱 Andy 同我哋即係都都分享咗咁多，其實即係由佢嗰、那個即係投睇投資角度，其實究竟佢依一個項目其實佢嗰、那個誒即係個回報率啦，同埋其實點解個回報率會好啦，咁同埋其實究竟有啲乜嘢佢哋誒即係即係 logic asset， 佢哋可能管理個上面個服務會提供到啲咩啊，費用啊等等啦、啊。咁另外就係海外人士如果想投資嘅話，税項啦、啊，即係無論係即係收到租金之後有收入啦，咁。另外收誒個、呃、income tax 又點計咧？咁其實佢哋都會即係幫我哋準備好曬咁。係啦係啦，咁所以其實有啲乜嘢，就或者可以留言啦，或者可能係 email 佢哋啦，直接。咁其實我相信即係都即係都希望可以解答到你嘅問題啦。咁其實嚟緊誒，我哋就就係話其實啊，我哋講咗依講咗咁多樣嘢啦。咁其實究竟點買咧？究竟我係點去點去點去誒？呃即係點去做一個 reservation 啊，或者係點咧個個 procedures 咧？咁其實我哋咧就會再邀請翻，即係邀請翻阿 Patrick 同我哋去講解，其實誒即係即係講多啲，其實究竟點買啊？或者之後其實有啲咩聯絡方式啊？或者可能喺依個買樓情況上面，其實有啲乜嘢可能嚟話，可能大家關心個 contract 啊，或者 solicitors 啊依啲
咁嘅嘢。咁其實其實阿 Patrick 其實嚟緊都會同我哋去再講多少少咯。咁我哋我哋我哋歡迎翻 Patrick 翻嚟先。Hello Patrick，Hi Hi, Patrick，Welcome back。Thank you、yeah.。Yeah, and、uh, we we just、uh, we just、uh, talk talk about okay. Uh, we we all uh we uh have a more understanding about the background and um the、uh, background of the projects and the house the life in the Liverpool and、uh, how the investment is in investment situations or the investment yield in for the projects and、uh, so the most important most most important section of our, our life is how to buy it and、uh, what's the positions and how to do the reservations. Yeah. Yeah, no, very good. Um, I think as Andy outlined, uh, uh, it's very simple. Um, I actually put it up here. Um, if I may, um, the website being tobaccowarehouse.co.uk that will give you all the information in relation to the development itself. And、um, brokers are our、uh, local agents, our Logic Estates, the award-winning broker. Uh, uh, obviously. Andy being、uh, one of the founding members,、um, and that's their phone number. But also, once you get into the website itself, you can link on directly to register your interest. And I suppose the one thing about it is, a lot of people,、um, uh, when we when we were、uh, tying with the idea with your good selves about doing this, we said we would leave it till now, principally because these units are complete in the next、uh, three four months. They're almost complete. Uh, they're on their way at the moment, so it's not an off-plan purchase. It's not an off-plan where we can actually sell them and then hope to develop. These are actually developed. They're completing at the end of quarter one, and effectively, these are ready to be fitted out to be moved into. And the big thing, as Andy referred to earlier, is that a lot of the purchasers to date are actually owner-occupiers because they are a decent size. With generous proportions that are actually livable、uh, residential units,、uh, urban residential units, being duplex units、um, uh, uh, for in-town living, but there are actually a lot of them are being purchased by owner occupiers, which is a big, big plus、uh, for the development. But the main thing is, if you're serious and you're interested, get in touch, get on the website. But you don't have to wait any huge length of time. The units will be ready for you to fit out、uh, in the first quarter of 2020. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. 係啦 ，Patrick 其實同佢都都講咗咧，其實就係、是、誒、呃，即係其實而家都有好多，其實佢都收到好多嗰啲 inquiries 啊，去問即係究竟而家依一個嘅項目啦。咁其實嚟緊嗰三四個月或者出年咧，其實好快咧，依、这、一個第一第一個即係第一個第一期就會就會完工啦。咁其實大家即係即係大家可以去即係瞭解多啲啦。其實佢哋都可以 send 佢哋即係 send email 俾佢哋去問多啲去詳情咯。咁啊，其實亦都即係嚟緊都我可能都想幫對方觀眾問多啲問題，就係例如。話即係一啲嘅誒，即係如果我要去買樓，咁除咗我要同我 send email 俾佢哋之外，咁其實有啲乜嘢要注意？即係例如可能 mortgage 啦，咁其實我究竟去香港人究竟係喺邊度做 mortgage？ 究竟其實英國有冇誒，即係有冇可唔可以成託組做做 mortgage 啦？或者其實究竟即係 logic asset 會幫到我哋咧？咁我哋而家就會問下問下 Patrick 啦，係啦。So so uh Patrick uh so I just uh want to like have our audience to ask ask you some questions. When our audience when our buyers are want to buy In Hong Kong, so so can can they like apply mortgage in in UK or、uh, or in anything we can support them or they can they can okay as they can they can do they can just do in do the mortgage in Hong Kong or or, or what else yeah and they can do both. We actually have、um, set up a, a contact and、uh, we'll be we can direct people to a, a dedicated Hong Kong based uh, mortgage uh, broker. Who actually has access to all the main broker or、uh, all the main lenders here in the UK? And we、uh, privately we can set up contact between、uh, the would-be purchasers and the broker who's based in Hong Kong,、uh, who has access to all the UK lenders. So the answer to your question is both. That's that's probably the most will, will be the most utilised conduit for getting mortgages if they're not、uh, getting mortgages locally back at home. But there is a broker based in Hong Kong who will meet and deal with them individually. And get the UK based uh, uh, members. Ah, OK, thank you, Patrick. 係啦，咁啊，其實啱啱咧就即係當然啦，頭先我就話啊，其實問下 Patrick 究竟我哋 mortgage 點啦，因為其實即係大家即係始終都幾百萬，咁其實就唔即係除非除非你而家買樓即刻走嘅啫。但係其實如果我而家諗住買，其實我通常都好大機會都係會做貸款啊。咁其實究竟我係咪要就而家我又飛唔到去英國啦？咁其實又即係究竟我喺點點去申請咧？其實啊 ，Patrick 其實同我哋講，其實佢哋都有一個 connection 啊。
係啦，佢係 connection 嘅，其實一個 d e l i c a t e 嘅嘅 brokers 啦，咁嗰時去香港嘅，其實放心，其實佢香港嘅，咁其實大家亦都可以去，即係其實 Neil Neil Jensen 啦，咁其實佢香港有公司㗎，咁其實咧佢嗰個係即係一個即係英國嘅，即係做即係按揭貸款嘅公司啦，咁其實咧佢誒即係希望喺喺上面可以幫到大家或者直接啲啊，因為其實佢既然係講緊上佢喺一個香港有。辦公即係辦香港有公司嘅英國、啊、英國嘅公司，香港人啊，買家處理過即係相關嘅申請啦。咁同埋有一個覺得有一個優勢就係佢識講廣東話。咁即係因為大家就容易溝通啲啦，即係可能問嘢起上嚟都咁就唔會有 language barrier 啦。咁啊，其實咧即係大家我而家講一講佢嗰個即係個 website 啦。其實就係即係即係 w w w u k m o r t g a g e s c o m h k 嘅。咁其實大家亦都可以想了解多啲咧，其實亦都可以去佢個 website 啦。咁其實大家其實就即係如果想再知多少少，亦都可以留言俾我哋啦。我哋亦都會再 send 翻佢哋依一個嘅 website 俾大家啦，或者資訊俾大家啦。咁、嗯、其實咧嗰、那個即係可能大家下一個問題就話，咁其實嗰個 mortgage rate 成幾多啦？咁其實亦都係即係去到可以去到去到七成啦。咁當然每個人嗰個嘅嗰個誒情況都唔同啦，因為其實依一個好過雲㗎。咁、嗯、啊，所以其實咧大家亦都有啲咩問題咧，亦都可以去自己去歡迎去問佢哋咯。咁因為呢位 advisor 佢都。係好即係好熟悉啊啊 Tobacco Warehouse 呢一個項目同埋呢個發展啦，咁所以誒係啦，都歡迎大家可以即係瀏覽佢哋個網站啦，或者可以諮詢佢哋。係啦係啦，好送。OK， so so next next question Patrick， so I I think our Hong Kong audience would like to know that， ah、uh, for for the contract， so so how about the the legal service， like how about the solicitors， the any advices that， ah、uh, maybe ah、uh, Logic SK can support our buyers。Yes, we have a dedicated panel uh, of uh, three, four lawyers uh, that they, we can introduce. Um, you're not compelled to use them, but we are. Uh, uh, we, they have already been through the scheme, through the title, and have acted for uh, purchasers already in the scheme. So they'll be very familiar with the title, um, and they are they are on hand, and they will do a um, they will they will they will do the legal work. 誒，放放放都會俾佢出手。OK， that's great。咁其實就即係阿阿 Patrick 都有講啦，其實就係都係佢哋都係有相熟嘅律師可以介紹俾大家啦。因為其實即係講真，即係我我做完我做完安揭啦，我去 send 埋煙啦，但係我唔知點賣，咁都要律師幫㗎，係咪先？咁所以其實咧，即係其實即係 Lodge S 其實都可以幫到我哋咯。咁 OK 啦，咁最後一個問題啦，咁就係、是、要俾幾多錢？係啦，咁我俾幾多錢 deposit 咧<笑> ？So OK。So, okay, the last question, Patrick. So,、yes. how much deposit? How much deposit we have to pay if we want to buy Tobago Warehouse? Yeah, it's a normal. It's a reservation fee, um, a, which is refundable, but a, a five thousand reservation fee to, to book your unit, and then typical and、uh, and to conform with the normal,、uh, it would be a twenty percent deposit, and the balance then all in completion. Oh, I see. So the five thousand pounds is refundable for the reservation fee, and、uh, for exchange contract, so that would be another twenty twenty percent of the、uh, property price. Correct. OK， 係啦，咁其實啱啱就就即係都問咗啦，咁其實我要我想買嗰啲俾幾多錢咧？咁首先其實得個五千英鎊，係啦，五千英鎊嘅嘅誒，即係個預留費啦。咁其實而家對大概一對十啦，咁其實即係五萬啫。咁其實依個係退得翻嘅，即係 refundable 嘅。嗯，咁啊其實 OK 啦。咁如果真係即係但係要簽 contract 啦，咁啊真係要落大頂啦，佢叫大頂啦。咁其實係廿個 percent 咯。咁其實就係、是、誒，即係如果 let's say 我 let's say 係啦，咁例如話而家我哋即係誒有好多 units let's say 可能係廿五萬英鎊啦，但係。二百五十萬，咁其實我嘅即係誒兩個 percent， 咁其實就可能係五十萬即係港紙咯，其實係係啦，咁、嗯、所以其實呢個就即係就即係俾大家個參考咯。咁所以其實我哋依家誒即係希望希望我哋依一個嘅即係誒即係 live program 或者呢個直播咧，其實係可以即係提供到多啲資訊啦。其實即係除咗倫敦，其實或者有其他城市俾你去揀咯。咁所以其實我哋。即、就、係、是、希望呢、這個呢、這個思想可以幫到大家，同埋佢都透過呢個直播可以介紹一個即係咁大個嗰、那個誒，即、呃、係、就是、regeneration 誒、呃、嗰、那個嗰、那個 area 啦，或者個 development 啦，或者俾大家聽，同埋呢一個 Tobacco Warehouse 係幾咁特別啦。咁所以其實今日真係好好多謝好多謝 Patrick 同埋 Andy 啦，我介翻我哋我哋請翻 Andy 上嚟先，係啦，一 so down so okay so 
is uh, we really thanks thanks you guys. I thank you Andy and thank you Patrick to share us more about like another alternative option, alternative options for Hong Kong people. They are not only think um, not they not only consider London but also Liverpool. And Liverpool is a really a, a amazing city for them to consider to migrate. No matter you say like a cheaper living living cost, lower property price, and um, yeah. like. Uh, has a very great potential in the in the future for for the whole the uh, whole area like the Stanley Dock and Tobacco Warehouse. So thank you very much, you guys, and thank um, you. and um, and I will see you see you guys next time. Yeah. Hopefully, thank you for having us. Bye 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 bye. 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 係啦，咁啊，其實我哋都即係都好多謝佢兩位啦。咁其實即係頭先都講咗，希望可以希望可以幫到大家資訊。咁其實咧，再即係再即係沉都講多句啦。如果大家咧有其他即係即係對於即係利物浦啊，或者係英國誒、呃，即係佢資訊咧，其實都都歡迎大家去留言俾我哋咯。即係其實即係我我我哋誒，即係 Facebook 啦 ，G Y dot Asia 嘅 Facebook message 我哋啦，而家留言啦，我哋啦，或者係 email 我哋啦。咁如果你對於項目有好多興，即係最多啲興趣咧，除咗可以瀏覽佢哋嗰個網站。同 Beagle Warehouse dot co dot uk 之外咧，亦都可以去聯絡 Logic 誒 Logic S T 去問多啲詳情咯。咁我相信其實即係喺成個嘅購買過程啊，或者可能係或者可能你想而家想睇下先，或者想問多啲資料都唔緊要嘅。其實你都可以去去聯絡佢哋咯，係啦，係、嗯、啦。咁我係啦，係咯。咁好多謝大家收睇今日嘅誒直播啦。嗯。咁希望下次可以再同大家再分享多啲比較特別啲嘅地方啦，或者係特別啲嘅項目啦。因為其實我哋都即係即係覺得，即係其實喺海外買咯，其實除咗係唔同嘅地方，我可以見識同大家講多啲資訊啦，見識多啲啦。咁啊，其實咧即係唔單止係即係住宅啊，或者咁特別嘅項目啦。其實我希望可以帶到唔同嘅資訊俾大家，或者唔同嘅款類俾大家。咁啊，誒希望大家中意我哋呢個節目啦，繼續支持我哋啦，係啊。系系啦，咁啊，今日时间差唔多啦，咁我哋下次再见，好，拜拜。Welcome to Liverpool, one of the UK's most vibrant cities, famous for its football teams, its music, the Beatles, and its rich cultural history. Liverpool has the UK's second highest number of art galleries, museums, heritage buildings, and parks outside of London. The historic city centre has been awarded World Heritage Site status by UNESCO due to its extensive network of Victorian-era docks and waterways. Liverpool's waterfront offers a lively mix of cafes, restaurants, and tourist attractions, and is one of the most visited cities in the UK. The city contains four universities and is home to 56,000 full-time students. Liverpool is home to the oldest Chinese community in Europe and has many Chinese businesses, such as Chinese restaurants and supermarkets, and facilities for the Chinese community. Chinese people first came to Liverpool in 1834, when the first vessel direct from China arrived in Liverpool's docks to trade such goods as silk and cotton wool. Chinese people are now the city's largest ethnic group. The historic docklands extend north of the city centre into an area known as the Ten Streets, a multi-billion regeneration area. Where former warehouses are being converted into residences and businesses in the artistic, creative, and digital fields. 
At the heart of these historic docks sit three architecturally and historically important buildings, one of which is the Tobacco Warehouse, the world's largest brick warehouse and Liverpool's largest landmark. In 1901, Liverpool had a dream to build the biggest warehouse the world had ever seen, a building fit for a thriving city at the heart of global trade. Tobacco Warehouse was born, a monument to the dreams of the hard-working people of Liverpool. But times move on, dreams fade and fortunes change. The tobacco warehouse fell into disuse and disrepair. But now it is time to dream big again, to dream of an iconic building made great once more, of a thriving community, a new place to live, work and play. Tobacco Warehouse is being converted into 550 exceptional residential waterfront apartments, the largest heritage conversion in the UK's history. With generous proportions, distinctive industrial features and impeccable modern design, this landmark building is being transformed into unique warehouse homes with spectacular views over Liverpool's historic waterfront. This is a truly original building. Industrial heritage features including exposed brickwork, structural columns and concrete ceiling beams are combined with impeccable modern design that propel this iconic building into the 21st century while preserving its original architectural charm. Already developed just across the dock is the outstanding Titanic Hotel and Rum Warehouse, winner of multiple awards for heritage, regeneration and operations. Tobacco Warehouse is helping to reinvigorate this area further, acting as a catalyst for the regeneration of the area. And the new Everton Football Stadium is planned to be built just across the street in the same architectural style as Tobacco Warehouse. Tobacco Warehouse is within walking distance of Liverpool's rich culture of art and music. The stroll from Tobacco Warehouse to the city centre will take you along the stunning waterfront, past the Royal Liver Building, Tate Liverpool and Royal Albert Dock. From art galleries to museums, fine dining to iconic music venues, the very best of Liverpool is on your doorstep. Just a mile from the Three Graces, Liverpool city centre and the Pall Mall office district, Tobacco Warehouse is perfectly located to escape the hustle and bustle of city life without spending hours commuting. Residents get the best of both worlds, waking up to calming waterfront views before taking a quick stroll into the city for work. The dual aspect apartments are spread over two floors with dramatic double height living rooms, providing a sense of volume and light rarely seen in the city. The floor areas range from 85 to 250 square metres, which are twice the size of standard apartments in Liverpool. In addition, the ground floor of the building contains on-site commercial space, which will include offices, retail, food and beverage offerings. Upper mezzanine levels look out over the inner courtyards and the tranquil historic docks. Each apartment comes with a fully fitted kitchen, kitted out with European manufactured appliances. Standard amenities include touch control induction hobs, integrated oven, dishwasher, fridge freezer and washing drying machine. Under cabinet lighting, generous preparation areas, sophisticated Italian cabinetry and durable timber effect floor tiles make hosting your friends a pleasure. Fully fitted bathrooms are tiled with geometric ceramics. Creating a sense of community is part of what makes Tobacco Warehouse so special. The private residence lounge with soaring ceilings and beautiful brickwork is an expansive space to enjoy a tea or coffee or simply to unwind and relax with friends. Tobacco Warehouse sets a new standard for residential amenities in Liverpool. 
Phase one of the project will see the western end of the warehouse transformed into 192 modern apartments, ranging from one bedroom units to three bedroom corner units and stunning penthouses. The first units are due for completion in early 2021, so we encourage potential purchasers to act swiftly to avoid disappointment.